Hold on, hold on, hold on. This oh is my, my eye, please. God. There we go. <laughs> Did you see that thing? That was uh, great. That's welcome cool. to Tempting Fate, um, and thanks to uh, Garav Galati for that uh, incredible uh, lost Tempting Fate uh, yeah, graphic there. Camera. Thank you, Garav. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and thank you, Enthusiasm for the raid. Uh, <gasps> Hugs for Hug and Clyde! Hello, uh, Enthusiasm Army. Um, so yeah, welcome uh, to Tempting Fate. Welcome to our uh, Lost one shot, and uh, I'm super excited for this game. Um, Lost, very special fandom for me, and uh, I know it was not everybody's cup of tea. We're not dealing with that tonight. Uh, we have brought all no. People. Let's deal with it. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's bring spring the it. game. You know, just come at us. Here's yeah. why the ending's great. Right. No, no. no. <laughs> all right, playing <laughs> the lost people. Yeah, no, 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 no. Lots, lots of people don't like the ending, and they're wrong. To <laughs> <just> <laughs> right, that's and we're just gonna leave it at that. All right, and no. that's why they're not here at this table. And right. now that we've started off by antagonizing. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you for the host, Keegan Sundry. Thank you. Thank you for the sub, Jeff. So yeah. um... So yeah, so this is a labor of love tonight, and we appreciate you all joining us. Uh, and um, uh, so first, let me start by uh, welcoming everybody. Uh, first, uh, with me as always is uh, Sam Delev, That's one me. of our regulars. Um, and uh, where do we start here? Uh, first, uh, Cohen Edenfield. Um, uh, should I look right uh, here? Uh, uh, yeah, you yeah. look over there. Oh, and I'm um, sorry, I'm doing. No, that's okay. This is <laughs> this is Cohen's first time streaming. He is uh, he wrote uh, the game Hive Swap, lead writer oh, yeah, of the game Hive Swap. That's right. Um, and uh, he, I have had the privilege of playing in a couple of D and D sessions with him. Uh, yeah. I, you know, he's a great role player, and I wanted to get him uh, down here. I'm pretty And good. I finally got him because we uh, we got the Lost thing in common. Yes, yeah, so, true. That's true. Um, and then we're correct we're, about the ending of Lost. Yes, we're both <laughs> correct, and it's like that's a lot to have in common. Um, <laughs> And uh, then over here, another uh, first timer. Oh my God! Thanks for all the subs, everybody. Um, my oh, good friend you. Ravity Dante. Ravity uh, mm. works over at Cartoon Network doing uh, cartooning things. And um, and I'm clearly super chill. Train everyone. Uh, she <laughs> is a Do friend you, for a long time. Goes on, way back, uh, and we bonded uh, over a mutual love of Lost a long time ago. This is also her first stream, yeah. uh, and uh, I am super, uh, super happy to bring the two of you on stream for the first time. Get excited! Um, and another guy who's on stream for the first time ever. Yeah. I'm sure you've yeah. never. No. Have you um, ever role played before? Yes, no, I've uh, never done it. Yeah. Um, of course, I like uh, video games. <laughs> yeah, a video game guy who doesn't know uh, doesn't know role playing games at all, trying this for the first time, uh, Mr. Hector Navarro. No, of course, uh, Hector is uh, the captain on Shield of Tomorrow and uh, one of the titular woke rednecks of Dick and Johnson. That, yeah. Yes, that is right. I got one of the most distinguished comedy role player, uh, role playing game players in the world, and I brought him to my That's comedy true. role playing game show on the night we're doing the drama game. That is yeah. all really true. Wow. That's how I plan stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. No, yeah, no. Hector, also a uh, Lost fan. Uh, he, I mean, yeah, tell us about what this is the Lost inside There's board. nothing to tell. Apparently, it's factually inaccurate. Okay, there are factual <laughs> inaccuracies. Isn't that an app of the uh, game? We can discuss I'm real pissed about it. But uh, but other than, how many would you say, uh, how many items in here are factually inaccurate? I would say about like five. Five things? There's like 10,000 of the things. <laughs> that's not a bad percentage. Like that's, uh, that's the same as um, the parts per million that cockroaches are in recent is peanut butter cups, which are five parts per million are allowed to be That's a real because of how that. attractive peanut butter. That's really distressing. Yeah. How attractive peanut butter is to cockroaches, uh, like the um, the Food and Drug Administration of, of the United States or whatever, they say to Reese's, yes, you can have for every Reese's peanut butter cup, five parts per million of it can be comprised entirely of cockroach, and that is A-OK. -okay. Chitin is a good source of protein, all right? Yeah, so if you've had a million of them, five Let of them are made up. Let us know what you think in the chat. Hashtag cockroaches. Hector Facts. So this is like five parts um, per million, like... Like the rest of it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's very helpful, but like, for isn't it very weird night. Like, yeah. So, no. Thank you, everybody, for uh, coming. <laughs> um, and uh, also uh, thanks to Tom Zook behind the camera uh, and everyone at Saving Throw. And uh, thanks to John Harper, uh, who created Lasers and Feelings, the game that we play here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, we play basically exactly by the rules John created. Uh, we just reskin it for whatever universe we're in. Um, and we'll get to those rules in a little bit. Um, but first, uh, I need to tell you a little bit about Saving Throw. Um, we, you probably know a lot of these people, some of these people uh, from Geek and Sundry. Uh, you know, uh, Saving Throw is not legendary. We do not have a big corporate budget. We subside okay. entirely on what you give us during the show, and you have been incredibly generous with us. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, uh, to help uh, incentivize tonight, um, we have uh, a bunch of tiers and uh, some other things. Uh, normally, normally we are a comedy game and we have carrier penguins where you can send messages to the cast or you know ask us to read stuff or stuff like that. Um, so but because tonight we're not doing comedy, there are not going to be carrier penguins. Uh, this will be a carrier penguinless game. Uh, instead, uh, there will be whispers. 
Um, if you want to send a message to the cast, they will come in the whispers. Um, and by the way, thank you, JJ Dane, uh, B Right UK, uh, uh, Zer- Zerouth, uh, and Smiley the Ogre for all the, the subs. Thank you guys. Um, so yeah, whispers instead of carrier penguins tonight. Can we hallucinate the penguins? Uh, is that yes. still dramatic enough? Oh, and there is an official carrier penguin for Meaning of Night. Check it out on the Twitter account. Mm-hmm. It's like it's all done up like Desmond. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know what that means. There's no penguins, but there's a polar bear in the show. Yeah, yeah. Polar they're, bears. they're from literally opposite sides of the earth. Yeah, yeah. but similar climates. Yeah. For now. So here are the tiers for today. Uh, we always have tiers, and uh, here's what they are. So if 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 we get to twenty five dollars, um, uh, we will. The first tier is called ta- uh, Tabula Rasa, uh, and that will be three re rolls for the table. Oh my god! <laughs> we just. <missed> <laughs> All right. Wow, Tinksy, uh, Tinksy. that is a hundred dollars. Uh, thank you so oh, much. Thanks. So thanks. That actually will kick thanks, in these thanks. first four. Wow, Tinksy, you've been incredible with us. Thank you. We really so, appreciate so that. So, are you going to read what we just <laughs> lost? Yes. yes. So and it's really four. great right. stuff. So, thank great. you, Tinksy, for that yeah. exact yeah. number of donation. I'm super hyped. Thank you so much. Oh my um, god. So, what do we unlock so, with an E on the end? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, those are hashtag More pun that. puns. Let More us know what you night. think in the chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, so $25 uh, just unlocked uh, three rerolls for the table. So here are three new beginnings. Okay. Uh, nice, uh, nice. And at $50, uh, we're having a tier. If we get to $50, well, we got to $50. Uh, mm-hmm. Unlocked now is a tier called The Candidate. Um, see, one of you uh, is going to be deemed no. one of Jacob's candidates. No. Uh, and that will give you some special advantages and disadvantages on the island. And, uh, but all of the numbers numbers are taken. Um, fact, Sam has no idea what's going on. This is great. Okay, so you guys need to know, this entire table is Lost fans, <laughs> and I have never seen Lost. I built a character, I am going to play what I react to, but I am not going to be metagaming at all, unlike mm-hmm. these three fools, because I have nothing to meta. No, yeah, no, 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 no metagaming. No, no that is an excellent point. So. Mm-hmm. Let me explain. Um, On Lost, there's a very powerful uh, uh, character named Jacob who is uh, basically looking for somebody to take over his job, Mm -hmm. and he has identified certain Huge spoilers for Uh, the plot of Lost. Yeah, 15 year old spoilers, folks. Um, uh, Such a difficult time. The spoilers can get a learner's permit. Yes, um, I I should actually yeah throw that out there. There will be huge spoiler warnings tonight, obviously. Uh, But there's also going to be lots of mysteries. Oh, but yeah, tons of mysteries. I'm not spilling everything here. Yeah, Mm -hmm. just what you need to know to understand the tears. Just so, like essentially, this group of people has some special qualities, and uh, at fifty dollars, one of these people will essentially be deemed uh, have a special Canada. destiny. Did you need me to grab something? Somebody? Yes. Can you get me the giant D four? Oh over boy. There? The, the, the yeah. Thing. This? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh this D four will determine who is yeah, speaking for the table. I hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh okay. Boy. Not us. Is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Cohen. Love it oh, all. Perfect. All right. Cohen is the candidate. I don't know what that means. Oh. Be- uh, I want to say real quick. Means, at the beginning of this broadcast, I don't know what it means in the context of this. I, <laughs> I, I was. I'm, I'm not upset that Sam hasn't seen an episode of Lost. I'm jealous of Sam because they get to experience the show, for, right? But, That's how I love her. but now, after I got a Cohen pun, I am upset that you haven't seen it because we're missing out on some Sam puns oh. because you don't know Lost. That's the only reason <laughs> just, I'm just going. Stay in the milieu of yeah. the island. Don't you worry, the they will be here. <laughs> okay, the, okay. The, the Sam puns will flow. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, uh, seventy-five dollars <laughs> unlocks the first smoke monster attack. So that j- j- just happened oh, right no. ever now. Um, and a hundred dollars oh, unlocks flashbacks. Um, okay. So each character uh, has a flashback. I've asked and prepared. And we're gonna do this a little bit differently okay. than what I told you. Actually, what's gonna happen is now that those are unlocked. Uh, At some point, when I call upon you two, you're just going to reveal a sort of secret backstory that you've prepared. It's not a big, long thing. It's just some details about their lives. Uh, And you also get, uh, I am going to call, flashback tokens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, those flashback tokens are good. They can play them whenever they want, since I will be calling upon them for their main flashback. For a little secondary flashback that kind of operates as like a story point. They can throw their flashback token and now okay. sort of like say, you know what, I always have a, a gun hidden, uh, you know, taped to my back or, or whatever it is. Something. How did you get through security? Right within the realm. Sydney, what are you of, doing? Something within the realm of story believability. You have to have a good nexus for it. But mm-hmm. uh, if if you get it on the table, it's like you can you can add qualities to yourself or items or things. You know, like mm-hmm. a story point operates in a regular mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Um, so all that is unlocked now. Um, now what the next four we've got are uh, if we get to one hundred twenty-five dollars, uh, there are island. Dreams. Um, and Cohen, 
because you are the candidate, you are going to have a premonition of things to come. Oh, goodness. Um, and it's, yeah, uh, you can have that. Um, I, I'll tell you when you have it, and whenever it happens, you can just make up something, whenever you want, kind of, and uh, it, it will happen in some form or another. Um, and uh, if we get to $150, uh, uh, then uh, time skipping happens. Um, keep on skipping. The characters will become unstuck in time and will shuffle around the history of the island uh, at sort of random. Oh my gosh. God bless you. Oh, well, keep happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this sounds very challenging. Um, uh, it, it, he is a hero among men. I'm excited. That's all we have to well, say. Get I'm hyped. Not, all y'all get hyped. I cannot promise this won't be a disaster. There's a lot experimental about this. Oh, I and, think we can uh, promise we're gonna, go. you know, We're going to give it our best. Try. You're determined. Um, so yeah, and if we get to uh, two hundred dollars, uh, there's a tier I'm calling uh, the volcano. See, the the island is a volcanic island, and it's got a volcano on it. And uh, if we get to two hundred dollars, that <laughs> volcano is gonna explode everything before the show is over. <laughs> uh, and in some way or another, it will alter everything in the story and for we'll our all characters. Die. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. The floor um, is lava. <laughs> it, it could happen under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, you might get okay. a chance to survive okay, that. Cool. Um, so yeah, so the first four unlock. The next four, Island Dreams, Time Skipping, uh, oh, sorry, um, uh, the next three, Island Dreams, Time Skipping, and The Volcano. Um, and as always, subs get to give out rerolls, and we've got a bunch of those to give out already. So, uh, these reroll tokens, uh, just good whenever somebody wants them to reroll one die that they threw. Um, so JJ Dane sends their reroll to Hector. Oh, sweet. Oh, and, cool. uh, Be Right UK sends their reroll to Sam. Uh, and uh, Jeff uh, MO37 sends their reroll to Rabity. What? Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. And uh, Smiley the Ogre sends their reroll to me. Thank you, Smiley. See, why, I, you do, why you do this, Sam? Now, Smiley. I don't actually roll die in this game, but my rerolls, I can throw as forced rerolls against them. So if oh. they do well, I can make them take a second shot at it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, also, only applies to one die. Uh, and, uh, oh, and Zarath also sends their reroll to me. Uh, thank you, guys. This is great. See, force rerolls are great. They create conflict that's good for storytelling. You guys know. But um, we do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and DJ Phoenix sends uh, one reroll to Hector. Cool. <gasps> and one reroll to Sam. Thank you. And of course, okay. the pot rerolls are there for anybody to draw on. Uh, there are three of them, uh, and uh, those, I mean, yeah. you can use, anybody can use them whenever they want, except me. Um, so thank you, uh, everybody. You guys are already incredible. Tinksy, thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody else. Um, so yeah, uh, so usually when we do this, we start by introducing everybody's character and their name and stuff like that. But tonight mm -hmm. I think we're going to do it a little bit different, uh, and in the spirit of Lost, we're just going to kind of jump in and sort of see how this unfolds. Um, so right before we get started, I'm just going to run you real quickly through the uh, rules. Oh, thank you for the sub anonymous. Love that. How did you get that username? <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, the way this works uh, is pretty simple. Um, uh, everybody in the game uh, has a number, and that number represents where they sit on a uh, on a scale between science, which is means they're better at uh, technology and science and cold, rational, calm, precise, precise tasks, Mr. Spock kind of thing. Um, and a low number means that they're better at uh, faith stuff, uh, science and faith being the, you know, the spheres of, of lost, uh, sort of. Um, yeah. And, uh, uh, and faith-based tasks are like intuition, diplomacy, seduction, wild, passionate action, you know, kind of Kirk stuff. Um, and uh, wherever your number is represents what your character is good at. And then when something uh, is in doubt, it is deemed a, uh, a science uh, task or a faith task. Um, and if it's a science, uh, if you're using science skills, you want to roll under your number. And if you're using faith skills, you want to roll over your number. Um, and I'll tell you what everybody's numbers are before we get started. Um, and uh, if none of your dice, uh, what happens is um, everybody, you, if whenever something's in doubt, you automatically roll one die. Uh, if you are deemed uh, to be prepared for this task, you can roll two. Uh, and if you are an expert in the task, you can roll three. Uh, and if you are getting help from someone, you can roll four. And help is just an independent role that plays by the same rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if the person trying to help you fails, then it doesn't affect you. You just don't get help. Uh, and if none of your die succeed, it goes horribly wrong and blows up in your face. And if one of your die succeeds, you barely manage the task uh, with some kind of harm or cost. If two succeed, you do a good job. And if three succeed, you, you know, success with style, you, you, you get some sort of extra benefit. 
Uh, and if you roll your number exactly, you get what we're calling tonight, uh, ask the island a question. Awesome. Uh, sometimes when you ask the island a question, it answers you. Uh, yeah. In this case, when you roll your number. And sometimes but, it kills you. And but sometimes I'm never asking <laughs> you, and um, no man is an island. Uh, oh, see, there are they. You were worried. Yes. Hashtag <laughs> Sam Puns. Let us know what you think in the chat. No um, man. <laughs> You thought it changed when I got on camera? <laughs> Not at all, apparently. You thought it changed because Sam doesn't know anything about Lost? <laughs> Not at all, no. <laughs> oh, it's garbage. So if you get to ask the island a question, you get a special insight to what's going on. You can ask me a question, and uh, I will answer honestly. And these are questions like, you know, what is a character feeling, or who's behind mm -hmm. such and such, or is a thing real, or is a person telling or the truth? What's up with that donkey wheel? Or... What's up with that donkey wheel? Yeah. <laughs> It, the man in black made it. I know. I know. Sorry, no, we're not going there. Um, uh, yeah, so... Um, there are lots of references, and I just feel like an ass. Yeah, no, don't go uh, So, yeah, and that is all there That's is. That's good. That's good. You're working, you're working without, like... It's like the second you get anything, it's like yeah. donkey wheel. I feel like an ass. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Deploy. Yeah, no, they are... You've reached yeah, yeah, my method, yeah. yes. Scrappy. Um, so, yeah, that's it. And uh, the characters tonight, just so you know... Um, uh, uh, I'm not going to quite introduce them by personality, okay. but um, Sam's character is uh, a science character, has a number of five. Uh, Cohen's character is a faith character, whose number is two. Uh, Hector's character is uh, a faith-ish character, his number is three, that puts him sort of just on the middle side of faith. Uh, and uh, Rave's character, his number is two, uh, also a faith character. Um, so, oh. yeah, no, good mix tonight. We got... Uh, 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 two very uh, faith, uh, two very faith characters, a faith-ish, and a science character. So good. We we've had nights where just everyone did the same thing. It's mm -hmm. like this is cool. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, everybody developed kind of cool characters and backstories. And um, yeah, and I think now the rules are all pretty much on the table. So all right, um, Lost starts with the crash of Flight Eight Fifteen. That's where we start. Also. Uh, Actually, wait, first hints. Assorted yeah. Noise sends their reroll to Cohen. Oh, thank that's you so much. a lovely oh. name. Thank you, Assorted Noise. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so we are starting with the crash of Flight 815. Uh, all of you got on Flight 815 in Sydney, Australia, and uh, you were doing whatever you do on flights sleeping, watching movies, listening to the headphones, and. Identifying threats. I identifying <laughs> threats. Um, if, <laughs> yeah, if that's your thing. Um, and, uh, and somewhere along the way, things got a little shaky, and, and then everything kind of goes weird, and, and the plane started to crash, it started going down really fast, uh, it broke in half at some point, seats started getting sucked out with it, um, and, uh, as it sort of, uh, started going down, uh, your seats, which were all very close together, got sucked out. You go flying through the air, you totally black out. Uh, you have little flashes, you remember being in the water, you remember sinking, maybe even taking you know, water into your lungs, thinking... Storing you know, it for later. Yeah, storing it like a camel, yeah. No, uh, thinking, you know, this might be it. And then, and then kind of, you just wake up and you are on a dock. Uh, on a very uh, kind of tropical looking beach. Uh, there is white sand, crystal blue waters that just stretch as far as the eye can see in any direction. Uh, the dock is uh, wooden and it just jets a little bit out uh, into the water. And uh, you are all just laying on it. There are footprints in the sand. It looks like someone gathered you and dragged you to this dock. Um, but the four of you wake up, your eyes open, and you find yourself just facing uh, each other. Four, four strangers who do not know each other. Is my chair there? Um, I, uh, I will say, you, uh, yeah, you look and weirdly, right beside the dock, it does not look like it has been placed by somebody specifically. In See, the dock comes out of a forest along the edge of the beach. Mm -hmm. There is this sort of woods. Does it run up to the forest? Like Yes, it runs or... right into the woods and disappears into the woods. Uh, like a wooden path. Into the woods. Um, and, uh, like a beautiful place. And right beside the path on the edge of the forest, 
is your chair, which had been stored in cargo on the flight, uh, and now it seems to have just randomly fallen. It looks like it broke a tree on on, on, on coming down. What are the odds? She would do that, <laughs> by the way. So we're aware. My chair can totally break a tree. Yeah, and it's it's just kind of there. It is within your reach. Um, um, can we hear... So we got separated from the plane, right? Can we hear anything? Or? You are totally alone. It's silent. There are okay. birds in the trees. Waves crashing. Yeah. Waves crashing. Oh um, but you can hear crashes. Yeah, no, not, none of that. There's nope. no no signs of plane crash. There's no signs of anything but the four of you. Um, okay. This is death. Yeah, I think. Well, this is death, right? Maybe. Are you guys also in debt? No. So I like. I'm no, sorry. Did you say death or debt? I have a lot of debt. You good? All right. Death. Like. Oh, death. No. Well. Last thing I remember. No. Where? What? No, I saw you. I saw you in security. We were all in the plane. We're all in the same section of the plane. Yeah, I, think I, I, saw I identified you too. the three of you. We got sucked out when it broke. When the, the back half of the plane broke off, we got oh sucked God, out of the back. Okay. Oh my God. That sucks. Uh, How did we end up here? How did this uh, happen? Uh, did somebody save us? There's look. There's footprints in the sand, and then that, they're going into the jungle. Is that is that a chair? Is there anybody? Yeah. Uh, that's that's mine. Look, Do you need me to get it for no, you? No, I've got it. But thank you. Well, how the hell did I get here? How did, how did we get here? How are we on a dock? Footprints, right? Why is there a dock? This is clearly an inhabited island, then, one would we were, conclude. We were flying from Sydney to Los Angeles. Yeah, the Federated States of Micronesia cover the yeah. largest surface area of the Earth. That's good. Oh. Then if somebody, yeah. if this is inhabited, then maybe it was somebody who saved us and pulled us from the water, and maybe we can call for rescue. We can Hello? Call for help. That's a great sign. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is, is, is everyone good here, though? I Do, think so. Yeah? I think I'm okay. Yeah? Um, we, we literally just fell out of a plane, so I want to make sure. Well, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Nice to meet you. That's okay. Yeah, shit, uh, with my manners. I'm Haynes. Haynes? Uh, Haynes. Sam, can you describe what I'm seeing? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, fairly close cropped hair, gray eyes, a uh, pretty short looking person, lean, a little bit of ropey muscle, but not too much. Uh, Clothes look like garbage and look like they were in a plane. Yeah. But there is the history of a button down, a white button down shirt okay. happening. Cool. Um, they are, their cheekbones do 1d4 slashing damage. They then pronounce for them as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, Haynes. What was Haynes. That name again? Haynes. 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 Ursa. No, that's not right. That's my last name. Solomon. Haynes is my last name. a little shaken. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I. Solomon? Solomon, yes. Okay. Solomon. Solomon. What does Solomon look like? Solomon looks like uh, someone who tried to teach themselves parkour at the local playground until they were asked to leave. Um, more like a personality so, than like a. Well, like a I think you, I think if you I think if you if if you put your heart mind to it, you can picture this human. Um, Solomon is mm -hmm. also taking out a bandana, tying it around his arm. Mm -hmm. There's no wound on his arm, okay. so it's not clear why he's doing this. And then he's just he's just done. He's just done, and now I'm in character as Solomon Ursa. Um, he also has some brass knuckles on that I do not own, and. It's okay. not clear how that's Well, going someone on. at least came prepared. I feel safer. Oh, well, how we're all we're supposed on the plane? to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, then you just can get anything on a plane if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you have the right training. Well, it's, it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you. It seems like we're all each other's got out here, so it's good oh, to meet okay. you. Till we find whoever. Yeah, till we find whoever built yeah, this dock, I guess, right? Or those footprints. That makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm Ralph. Uh, she, her pronouns. You see a 35 year old woman standing in front of you. It looks like it looks like she lifts. Like it, she seems like she's 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 done some stuff in her life, um, and she's trying to look very put together despite the fact that she's just fallen out of the plane. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I'm I'm glad you've taken care of yourself there. That, oh yeah. 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 Uh, 
You you are good. You were you were patting your pockets. Yeah. Uh, got, got everything. I got everything I need. I, I mean, got, as uh, much. I have my keys still. I have my. Uh, yeah, I have my phone, but I don't think that's gonna work. I pull out my phone, and it's of course soaked, and it doesn't turn on. It's it's dead. Ugh. Keep. You should you should keep it on you though, just in case. Right. Yeah. You'd never know. As long as you don't turn it on, you'll be fine. If you can extract the moisture, it's only when the electricity goes through the circuits that's that good the phone know. actually shorts. Yeah, I've never done the bag of rice, rice thing. Right. I need yeah. rice. Yeah. 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 Well, rice would be great. It's fine. I don't see any food. Uh, uh, but I don't know if using it on phone. Whoever built the dock, yeah. there's food. We gotta go. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Mark. I'm Mark. Mark, yeah. Mark. Yeah. Mark looks just like this, but we'll just say for imagination's sake, Mark doesn't require the use of glasses, so Mark just doesn't have glasses on. Because <laughs> I imagine they would have fallen oh. off in a plane crash. Yeah, sure. Same, yeah. same for Solomon. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Okay. Um, how old is Solomon? Haynes also lives that 2020 life. Solomon is, <laughs> Solomon is 30 years and one day old. 30 years and one day oh, old. Yes. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Mark's uh, early 20s. Oh. Like 21, 20s. 20, yeah, 22. Haynes has Happy an age. Yeah. Haynes has an age. Yes. What is it? It is imperceptible to the human eye. I'm sure if you looked on their ID that they don't have, <laughs> you'd know. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> while you yeah. guys are sitting on the beach uh, starting to talk, you hear kind of a, a, a rustling uh, coming from the jungle just just beyond the what dock. What kind of rustling? Like trees falling down rustling? No, or like, just... That, like sounds, a small animal? Like an animal rustling. I hop up into my chair. Uh, Hello? Do you hear that? I, try, I fall back behind the rest of the group. Uh, <laughs> a lot of that kind of stuff. I stand up to see if I can get yeah, a no. look at it. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Um... While while you are sort of straining to get a look, you, you you start to see some some grass bending, some some trees sort of just moving a little, you know, tree branches just kind of moving it, and out jumps a, a very frisky looking white lab, um, and that's it's a dog, super weird. And, it's and, a dog. Is this a resort? Uh, just okay. Kind of well, surrounded all of you. So. It's so, a beautiful dog. It's, it, it is a beautiful dog. It it's seems fine. very out of place. It must have been on the plane. And it, and it, yeah. sort of, it looks at you, and then it, it just sort of turns around and just runs back into the forest. Hey, hey no. no. It, it does have a collar on it. But okay. We sh- All right. Whoever Do built the dog. It, it starts just, it just runs off back to the forest. You, I mean, you're welcome to try and chase it if you want, or it's up to you. Uh, and then to clarify, yeah. the footprints are definitely human footprints, not dog footprints. In, in, the, in, the, in the same? Yeah. In the yeah. Same. yeah. We, have, we haven't been saved by an incredibly heroic dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Vincent can do some amazing that things. That would be great. That would be great. <laughs> um, okay. So, okay, so there, all right, the others must be there. the lab yeah. and built the dock and dragged us to the dock and not to a safe place. I want to take a look at the wood of the dock. This is what it looked like. Well, actually, no, I don't. That's not in my character at all. I retract. Sorry. You're right. We'll be fine. Come on, let's move. Uh, okay. I'd like to get an orientation of ourselves. So where's gay. the sun in the sky? I'm gay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, no, you, the dock is facing, uh, sort of due south. Uh, due south? From, from okay. what you can tell, you're, you're guessed by the position of the sun. Okay, sky. so, I'm... And, and that path is leading off, I mean, at least as far as you can see it disappear yeah. into the trees just north. Great. So, correct me if I'm wrong, dock is pointing south, this, that's north, east, west. I think it's good we keep our bearings about us. Hello? Sure. Uh, I'd is like someone to... here? Uh, come, why don't you yeah. roll? Um, uh, you are just sort of shouting out there. Um, our first roll of the game. Yeah, our first roll of the game. We're gonna keep Boy. it nice and small and easy. Let's see what happens here. Uh, give a shout out. Um, roll. Uh, you know, roll. Uh, you're. I guess when you're an expert at screaming, yes. I mean, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, what so are you, you a voice actor? You can roll three and see 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 what happens. Uh, you, what you are trying to roll here uh, is um, a uh, faith task, um, uh, which uh, I believe that someone is here who will help us. Right. Well, we will be fine. Right. It's you know it is a, just sort of an act of unthinking. You are just kind of like shouting out. Exactly. So you're, you're you're acting from your gut, and, and, and that in this in, in this game, or at least in this definition, uh, is faith. Uh, you are a faith character uh, too, so you are trying to roll uh, over your number. Uh, two and so above. Okay. A- anything two and above. Well, that's and then bam. two fives. And yeah, and a six. That's a, that's is that a, a six on you or is that a one on you? 
I was given these dice yesterday, so oh, that's a six. No. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, that's three successes. Yeah, so you give a good hard shout, and uh, yeah, it's um, you, you, you start to hear not somebody answer, but footsteps uh, somewhere, very slowly, just crunch. Crunch. Someone walking on leaves. Someone in the forest watching you from somewhere. You got three. You got three victories there. So what I'm gonna say is that like eventually you watch long enough, and what you see is way off in the forest, just at the edge of what you can see. There is a woman. Uh, she has long, stringy hair. She is kind of dirty. Uh, she is uh, wearing um, you know kind of unwashed, dirty tank top. Uh, she little bit beaten up. She has a rifle slung over her shoulder. I, again, I dug down a little bit behind the rest of the group once I see the rifle. And I always her, hey, she's got a rifle. Yeah, you've got knuckles. Who? What? You can but use I, them or what? I can't deflect bullets. Solomon, what, what the hell are you talking about? There's somebody in the woods. There's a woman in the woods. She's got a gun. She's watching us. She didn't respond. Are you serious? I, yes. Uh, okay. Could, could she be the person who saved us? Who, who dragged us out of water? I don't know, she doesn't know who we are. Maybe she doesn't know that we crashed from a plane. Okay, somebody else wanna take point here. Hello? And, and I start moving forward because the closer you are to a rifle, the better. Yeah. Mm. All right, That's a good and, point. And she uh, doesn't back off as she sees you coming. She sort of slowly starts walking from the forest towards the path. Uh, She's not got her rifle drawn, and it's just still slung over her back. Oh. But she's walking towards us? Yeah, and she's walking towards okay. you. Uh, I'd like to stand up and uh, be like, Hey, uh, we just, we just we're on a plane and we crashed here. Uh, what's your name? Uh, and she sort of just looks around at you and uh, sniffs at you for a second. Is she, is, she the, is she the white Mara? Well, no. Uh, no, she, well, no. Uh, a blonde woman with a rifle stick. And, and, and looks <laughs> kind of paranoid and then responds to you uh, in, a, in, a, in a French accent. Um, uh, what, 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 one of you is not... One of you is pretending. What? And, and then what? she turns around and just starts walking away into the forest. Excuse me. Hey, did you pull us out of the water? Did you see a plane go down or something? Have Is you it... seen the rest of the plane? She just keeps walking. Were you on off. the plane? She does not turn, does not Pardon? respond to you. Let's follow her. Um, yeah, what, what direction is she walking? Walk walk She's walking back into the forest uh, off to the east. Off to the east, okay. Um, Wait, Haynes, you know French? Yes. Well, maybe... You speak French. It was just, it was that it was a French accent, mm. right? That she was yeah. speaking in. Yeah. She's speaking English with a French accent. Well, try that. Try that, Haynes. Do Do you speak French? Yeah. I was just calling out the uh, que vous pourrez. Okay. Can you help? Okay. Um. When 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 she hears that, she she sort of turns and looks at you, uh, but then looks over the other uh, three and and. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Qui? She's about to respond um, when you hear once again sort of a rustling behind you. Uh, again, sort of the rustling of an animal. Um, and uh, it, it grows closer and it grows louder. And uh, this time it, it sounds like maybe it's a little bit bigger than a white lab. Uh, How is this woman reacting? Yeah, I'm focused on Rifle Lady. Well, yeah. Rifle Lady, uh, now looking behind you, Puts her hand on her rifle strap, turns, and starts to run. And uh, oh, you um, yeah. turn, and what you see uh, pounding through the jungle at you is, weirdly enough, um, a polar bear. Get the heck oh, out. Oh, my God. So, uh, fun fact, y'all. Crash Course and me, I'm an Alaskan state trooper. Uh, here's <laughs> how you... Uh, Get a, the fuck away from a polar bear. Run, if, you run. Yeah, and I'm just you, gonna run the yeah, opposite direction. Yeah, okay, run. Run in the opposite direction. <laughs> okay. Head okay. towards the woods, head towards the woods. What? The woods? 
Yeah, the the, the, the woods. Let's okay, go stop. Woods. Are there are woods turn in, in, in the Arctic? Exactly. No, okay. they're not. They're not arboreally okay. adapted. Run, run, run. The jungle. I'm going to run towards <laughs> the jungle. All right, everybody roll uh, a faith roll, which means uh, you want to roll uh, over your number. Uh, for for uh, you, uh, Reeve, you're trying to roll, uh, sorry, uh, for Ralph, you're trying to roll over two. Uh, for um, <laughs> uh, for okay. Mark, you're trying to roll over three. For uh, Solomon, you're trying to roll over two. And for Haynes, you're trying to roll over five. Do I get speed expertise on this? Oh, yeah. Um, speed expertise. Yeah, uh, you can, oh, by the way, uh, you can each roll actually two. Sorry. Uh, you can roll, Ooh. you can roll three. Are we on good terrain, by the way, for wheelchairs? Uh, it's actually not bad. It's, it's tightly packed dirt, like the, the forest floor. Okay, the, I don't have the, to really over that. The jungles of the show lost. Surprisingly, pretty easy to just go across. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the island gives you what you need. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of paths and there's a lot yeah. of. But we gotta run! We gotta run! Yes! Oh no! We were seeing that. Uh, it, it looks really angry and it's charging fast. So, how did we do? I got a four. You got a four. Oh, you can roll two, actually. Oh, I can um, roll two. Yeah. Hell yeah! Um, I got a six. Two successes. Right. Uh, how did you do? Two you, successes. Two successes. Four and six. One success. One success. How did you do? Yeah. Uh, six success. Two, two successes. Two. All right. So the three of you are off. Um, <laughs> you are running for your life. Um, yeah. And you are wheeling as fast Tightly packed dirt can kiss my ass. Yeah. Tightly packed dirt is good. You are able to move. You are not going quite as fast as the rest of them. Uh -huh. um, and the polar bear gets damn close to you. In fact, it, it takes a swipe and it hits your shoulder. And now ah! you have a, a bit of a gash oh, on your oh, back and oh, shoulder. <laughs> um, but then uh, when, when, you, when you scream, uh, the polar bear uh, sort of stops for a second and, and starts just sniffing at the blood on its paw, uh, and you are able to just continue away, and the polar bear is like sort of licking off its finger and loses interest in you, and it just kind of lets you guys get away, and eventually it just sort of turns and disappears into the brush. Sort of an aperitif. Oh. oh, okay, so there's a polar bear here. That uh, that's, am I, I'm not hallucinating. And I'm at island to the zoo. Doc means it's inhabited, we've seen a person, we've seen a dog okay. with a collar, we've seen a polar bear. That means fairly large it's, island, that means zoo. It might be, let's see. You have very we, clear thinking, considering we what we over? just went through. We, we went from- Have to keep calm. We were in Sydney, heading to Los Angeles. What islands did you say? Uh, were in I mean, path? any island in the Pacific conceivably, but the I'm largest in. collection are the Federated States of Micronesia. Uh, the been. collection of small islands throughout the Pacific Ocean that aggregated into a nationality in their own right. Some of those, one of those is about to have a zoo, right? Right, or, yeah. or any of the territory. We could have just fallen into like the reserve section of it. And right. then we like, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, okay. Could still be over Fiji. Like the San Diego okay. Animal Park. Who uh, the hell was that one in, what, like a game warden, maybe? Maybe, hey, maybe like a, that would explain the rifle. That would explain the rifle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think we should get to a uh, higher ground to see, uh, if to get a better idea of where Sounds we are. Sounds like a good idea. Great. This, um, is, yeah. this yeah, is what yeah. that woman looked like. Yes, oh. that woman that you just saw, she looked something like that. Don't read any other information, Sam. <laughs> I saw you. What? It was just for the picture. I, I, look, I live 2020, not, not like 4021. No reading, Sam. No, no. Uh, yeah, Science so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do? You're going to try and find higher ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So from where you are now, you can sort of look around, and you see the path that you ran away to, the, okay. the wooden path, is you know, back to your west mm -hmm. now. Uh, and... Um, what you see is also ahead of you to the east, there's sort of a second one of these paths that seems to be curving around, okay. uh, and which is the same sort of wood as the first path, mm -hmm. but they don't seem to be attached. They seem to sort of just be like leading different places. Okay. Um, the one that you were on originally leads dead north. This one leads further off to the east. I'm keeping an eye back for the polar bear. Because I'm a good idea. You I'm, know what? I want you to roll for that. Uh, right. That is calm, precise action. You are keeping mm -hmm. an eye out. So it's mm -hmm. a faith task. Uh, why don't you roll? You know what? It's uh, you. It, it, it is in character for you to be a little paranoid, a little on the lookout. So let, let's say you are. Let's say you're, you're an expert. At, it, it, well, but you're not like a trained pro exactly. Aspiring. An aspiring expert. pro. So yeah. let, let's say you can roll two, and okay. you want to roll uh, faith task. So you want to try to roll over your number, which is two. I got a five and a one. Uh, that's a five and one. Now, 
Usually, by the way, if anybody wants, when somebody rolls something like that, you can shout out that you want to help them. Oh, yeah. Them. I, um, I, usually, I, 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 yeah. Know, I will tell you, but since you're forgetting, yeah, it's like yeah. you can do this if you want to give him another chance to yeah, roll. Yeah, I want to give him another chance. So do I roll it as he roll? Well, what are you going to do to help? Um, I'm going to be like, here's how you protect yourself from a polar bear from a certified, ex- like, professional. Okay. All right, yeah, um, I'm paying attention. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, you're yeah. going to give him, like, polar bear tips? Yeah, polar bear tips. Um, yeah. all right, so I that also we... sounds like conversation action, either. so why don't you roll fake cast? Uh, you okay. can roll two die for that. You okay, roll fair. over your number, which is a, uh, two. Uh, I got a one and a three. All right, one is it, that's all you need, uh, that, that is success, so you can roll a third die now. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. So you got a five and a one already. One. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that yes, is wait. That's a five. Oh, five, hell yeah. Okay, so two fives and one. So that's two successes. Nice. Um, so yeah, you are on Polar Bear Lookout now. Yeah. Um, what are we supposed to do? Make herself bigger? No, actually, uh, it depends on this. It, is the polar bear chasing after you? Is the polar bear yeah, just interested just in you? Yeah, yes, that, yes, that, yes, that, yes, that yes. one is the but, information but, but, that I but want. But if, if, if it's chasing after you or if it is uh, um, just like curious about you, if it's just curious about you, you can easily just like back away quietly, okay. speak in low tones, okay. and uh, just uh, do not make any sudden movements. If it is running at yeah. you though, you actually are supposed to fight back. Uh, back? What? Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 a thing. But yeah, like, like punch it in the nose like a shark. Yes. Oh, yeah. So just just yes. fight back. But it's only okay. if it's right. supposed to be that. No sudden movements though. Um, and then you become like you're on polar, like, polar punching. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Polar so punching. I, so anyway, that, polar bears. That is a success. You are being vigilant. You're you're walking at the back of the line yeah. and you are I'm keeping an eye on the action to punch and polar bears. Plus your ursa, your major yeah. bear. You've got your brass knuckles. You're getting ready for action, trying to protect everybody in case anything happens. Uh, which which path do you guys want to follow? Have you decided? Uh, I think we should uh, go north because okay, um, yeah, whatever you say, Rob. Because it's it's what we're on right now. Which mm-hmm. one looks more accessible? Also, welcome like, to literally the way that yeah, I would yeah, make yeah. decisions. Yeah, no, uh, they, <laughs> yeah. they actually look pretty similar. They're both made of the same sort They're of, made like, of the wooden same planking. wood. Interesting. Yeah. And question about the geography: Do yeah. any of the paths clearly lead to, or clearly not lead to? Higher ground, like can we see mountains or hills, or is it just oh, jungle yeah. thickness That's right now? You know uh, east would necessarily take us across the perimeter. North will take us toward the center of the island because we're starting due south. Yeah, and, so and we, we can definitely hand. see in the distance. It's like there, are, there are some mountains. This, this actually looks to be a pretty sizable place. You can <sighs> see like, above the jungle. Like looks like they, this is where they filmed Jurassic Park or something. I think we should go east. Yeah, does, does that narrow it, it down like that. at all? What island we might be on? I mean, uh, that. No, I don't have a notion. We'd have to get notions of latitude. I think the smartest thing to do would be to go east. That'll bring us closer around the perimeter of the island. On most islands, that would be a destination, like you would have a zoo. Most of the properties will be built along the shoreline. Or, or maybe another dock, or yeah, like It'll give, another property. If nothing else, we will figure out how quickly we can circle the island by going east. That'll give yeah. us a notion of the size. It's got to be a small island, right? It can't be huge. Right? It has to be big enough to support a yeah, zoo. Yeah, just a... Yeah. Let's go. I'm, I'm hoping east. to get more yeah. towards... The center of the issue, maybe. but I guess yeah, maybe we should survivors. try. Center. Yeah, let's try east Center for sounds now. like a good way to get lost. Yeah, and if, if and if our plane <laughs> just crashed yeah, yeah, yeah. in the ocean or near the beach like we did, then okay, most people be near the beach. Okay, let's 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 <sighs> go east. east. All right, okay. east. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. yeah, we are we are way away from the dock now. Aren't I mean, you're you're a decent length from yeah. the dock. It's not super far away. Would you, you want to come back? I'd like to. Steps? I'd like to leave some kind of message. Just a good idea. It, I mean, it's help. It's like literally cast away thing. help on the on the beach with yeah. logs or something. Actually, I was thinking like, if there's anyone else, this is literally the only man-made structure we've seen. Uh, just like yeah. an arrow, maybe he's just scratched on a pole. If does, are there poles coming out of the dock? I assume. Uh yeah, kind of it's, yes. Just like scratch real quick with the with the. With the Sharp part of the knuckles, just okay. scratch in. Just does anybody have arrow. like a? Uh, does anybody would anybody happen to have like a whisper, compass or or anything like that? Um, I don't. I have my keychain. No, chain. we need a piece of uh, ferromagnetic material, uh, some water, and some friction. <laughs> That's good to know. I get to play a science character today, y'all. Okay. <laughs> good. We can make a compass. Cool. Uh, I yeah, I got is, is just a us. lighter. Paramagnetic now. I got a flashlight. Uh, yeah. Neither is she. Mm. <sighs> uh, we'll keep so an eye out as we go. As we go east. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. We scratch a thing. And eight one eight one five. Just tallies eight one five and an arrow pointing left. Just like scratch, scratch, scratch. All right. Good. That's our flight. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Sure. 
Uh, yeah, and I, I won't even make a roll for that. You you, you do scratch that. You scratch yeah. the um, Cool. And then you head back towards the path going to the east. Yes. Uh, and the path is actually surprisingly long, um, and what? you find yourself walking into the night. Uh, oh, and as no, things start to get this. dark, you are still just walking through the jungle, and eventually, I mean, you are running out of light. Uh, it is the sun is just about going down. We're gonna have to find some shelter. You said you had a uh, flashlight. This might I be did, a good time yeah. to break that out. I got a lighter. Oh, it works. Oh, do you have keychain. a lighter? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Do you pull it out? Yeah. What does the lighter look like? It's hey, literally hey, like. Amy, thank you. Hey. Uh, oh. mm. is our friend. We love her. Uh, <laughs> I literally like corner shop. Oh, like, and that also, by the way, yeah. that unlocks. No, no, I think about it. Sorry, thank you, Enthusiasm. Oh. That unlocks Island Dreams, which means at some point you, Cohen, the can. Oh, sorry, you, um, Solomon, Solomon, the candidate. Solomon. You are going to have a premonition dream. Okay. Uh, that will come uh, come true, and I'll tell you when that happens. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you, everybody uh, who has been donated and subbing. Our next tier, if we get another twenty five dollars, uh, is time skipping. Um, uh, Thank you. This show's um, great. Just to make it. This show's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's like it's so much stuff is unlocked already. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's dark. You are yeah. what? You were trying to make torches? Is that the deal? Or yeah. Uh, it it seems fun. like we have three ways to make fire. Well, we have flashlight. This is a flashlight. Does, Does it, it work? Flashlight. And yeah. We also your flashlight have, works. Cool. We also have, and I strike the knuckles together, and <gasps> they make sparks. That's because awesome. Because this is, huh? The kind of person that I am. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty. They're not legal to order in no. most states. No, only um, in only in Micronesia. <laughs> only in Micronesia. <laughs> <laughs> um, Looks like we have uh, quite a lot of ways to start a fire. Yeah, yeah. I think we probably have to, to find some shelter. Pocket, yeah, yeah, they. Okay. I swear, United um, really has to do something about their security. Oceanic. 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 <laughs> <laughs> really has to do something about their security. Let's not get sued. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you like an air marshal or something? How do you have all that stuff? Oh, yeah. don't worry about it. Let's just focus on the task at hand. No, I mean one of us is pretending, right? What is, what, what, you're according to the insane, 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 to insane. insane. Yeah. she's crazy. Rifle-toting woman who came... Who the only person on around here who seemed to have a inkling of what's going on? The polar bears seemed like they knew what was up. I feel like if she had an inkling, she would have told us a little bit more. Yeah, she seemed like she's been out here by herself, alone, isolated for decades or yeah. something. That Which, seems again, uh, completely not, not unfounded. Okay, this fire. We're getting this fire going. Yeah. Are we setting a fire in the middle of the forest? Uh, I think that's well. That sounds can a little reckless. Clear, can we look Let's, for a clearing? We should have stayed yeah. on the beach. Um, why don't you uh, make a roll for that? Uh, you're doing a search. Uh, we'll call you this. You know, you're looking around. You're sort of scouting the area. Um, that is, we'll call that a faith task. Um, oh, thank you for the bits. Uh, Be right, UK. Um, Be yeah. right. Bits are great. Thank you. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, why don't you make a roll, uh, have, you, you have your knuckles, um, Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they literally only just make a shower of sparks. That's, there, there, a lot okay. of work is so, gonna have to happen so before we can get So, I, fire. I think that's a bad idea, but if you yeah, want to do it, you should go right to... we have a lighter right here. No, yeah. no, you should use your lighter. Yeah, I should just use oh, my no, no, lighter. Oh, no, no, I was not... not suggesting that this okay. is the way we were going to okay, make fire. I was <laughs> just... <laughs> so, putting all our tools on the table. Okay. Why don't you roll for, uh, you can roll... One die, uh, it is a faith roll, you are scouting for a clearing. Um, okay. Yeah. You are not an experienced scout. Does anybody want to help him? I don't know what I'm doing, I'm... no. Haynes is not going to help, but is going to scout independently. Okay. <laughs> I'm specifically trying not to make sound because of the three the three things that we have seen. We have seen a, a bear. dog. A dog, right, a dog. Yeah, and a bear. And, and a woman, woman with a, with a rifle. Yeah. So we uh, have neutral, yeah. dangerous, and potentially dangerous. I'm gonna say, Haynes, try not to go too far. We don't know what else is out here. Yeah, no Good kidding. tip. Okay. Uh, and I have no biped problems, so I'm I'd, I'd, I'd like to help uh, uh, <laughs> Solomon scout. Okay, uh, so why don't you go first? Uh, okay. You can roll their help roll. Uh, this is also a faith task. You can also roll. Uh, well, you're a state trooper. You probably have yeah. some expertise at this. That's there's the dog. There's the dog. It's a very good no, popper. I know, such a very good, good popper. popper. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can roll. Uh, why don't we say you can roll three? Okay. Because a state trooper, oh, wow. you probably have some survival skills. So mm -hmm. this is a faith task. Uh, uh, you're trying to three, roll. Three, four, six. Uh, three, four, six. Yeah, you were trying to roll over your number, uh, which is two, so uh, those are three successes. So yeah, you can roll now two die, uh, and you can roll one. All right. Now, uh, also faith. Uh, <laughs> you want to roll over your number? Okay, because or... I, I have different things that I'm scouting for. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Not. Hang on a second. <laughs> you roll first. Yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for a place that is safe mm-hmm. and a place mm-hmm. that where we can like set up some kind of perimeter. Okay. Because I, I have Smart. no comfort in any of this that's going on. I, I'm like ninety percent convinced this is an island where they hunt people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Like kidding, I man. think they just yeah. release wild animals yeah. and they arm people. Maybe that crazy French woman hunts people. Maybe we're the or most she, dangerous game. Or or that she's being crazy. hunted. I guess. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Uh, oh, hey, two sixes. Two nice. successes. Uh, so yeah, what I will say is, uh, Solomon, you you sort of walk around uh, in the immediate vicinity of the path, and uh, it leads to a uh, cove. Uh, I think that, that's a whisper. Uh, yeah. Well, those will happen a little bit later. Um, and it leads to uh, <laughs> a path, and um, you, uh, sorry. Uh, you, you leave the path and you wander around the area around the mm-hmm. path and what you find is like a little sort of uh, uh, a hill that has in it uh, a very shallow cave. Oh. And you, you poke your head into the cave and there is nothing inside. I do, uh, the, I do the sparks. I don't know how much illumination I would actually <laughs> produce, but I know that Solomon is going to do it a lot. Yeah. All right, you know what? Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you light up the sparks and, and, and when when the room lights up, what you see is there are like uh, paintings uh, kind of all over the walls of the cave. Uh, kind of, uh, they look like cave paintings? If we were at the cave paintings? Well, they don't like quite look uh, like caveman paintings. Uh, they're, they look a little more advanced than that. They look, you know, historical. <laughs> you but, go for it, find them. Um, <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, so you have found this area. Uh, you, you know, I can tell you a little about the paintings. Uh, the paintings just sort of show hills, uh, and there are figures that are clearly meant to be people, uh, and there is, uh, next to one of the hills, like, this big kind of scribbly black mess. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Does it look like a polar bear? No, it just, it's just a lot, just like a, almost big, almost like a ball that someone hasn't filled in completely, and they just sort of, like, scribbled inside of it to try and color it in all. Are there any handprints? Uh, no. I wanted to have a very important Tarzan. moment, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nothing like that. Um, but you have found this safe spot, uh, which looks to you defensible. It doesn't look like there's any way in from the back of the cave. It's shallow, so it doesn't seem there could be anybody hiding in it. And the front, are, is there any? Are there any animal droppings? You don't see any anything kind like of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Um, I I go back to the group. And I say, guys, found a found a place that seems safe. What? What place? Uh, it's like a little shallow cave. Um, no animal droppings. Um, I checked. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Um, there's some like culturally important uh, paintings, I think. Uh, I'm not sure they're culturally like important, paintings? but they might prove like, to be culturally important. But it's important. shelter, which is more yeah, yeah. Some, you know, yeah. Somebody at some point has stayed there. Yeah. So, so what, what I will say is that uh, you guys get to the cave and you can see the same paintings that okay, you great. see. Okay, great. Okay, great. Does um, Haynes follow? Well, no, Haynes. Well, I've, I've just been doing my search while the search is happening. You've been doing your own search. Yeah. Um, and first, uh, Haynes, because flashbacks have been locked, why don't you <laughs> you have the first flashback sure, of the day? Sure, not. Tell us the sound effect. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Just go with it. But we flash back to Haynes holding a plane ticket um, for Oceanic Flight 1355 LAX to Sydney. Mm. Uh, It says, um, Alsworth Wilcox Browning on there. Haynes is not visible. Um, And they're sitting in a middle seat And they don't seem too put out by it because they're talking to a very upset woman next to them and just, oh, he sounds just horrible. I wish authorities never do something about people like that, but no, 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 no. You could never get involved in something like that. You shouldn't ever be punished by the law for someone doing things to you. You would need, you would need a stranger to take care of a man like that. Yeah, I think that would be what you'd really need to make sure someone like that never comes into your life. Come to think of it, maybe we could do each other a favor. And it dissolves into Oceanic Flight 815. Haynes is sitting in the same spot 
and the woman comes down the aisle and they meet eyes and she looks stressed like something awful has been going on but Haynes raises eyebrows and the woman nods and files past her and Haynes nods and taps a fire steel to their temple and as the woman passes Haynes takes off their wedding ring and Haynes, you are on the island. You are alone. What are you searching for? How flammable is the material, the plant brush on this island? How, what's the moisture it level? Depends on what the story requires, <laughs> usually. <laughs> well, I mean, there are several species depending on uh, the time of year, how dry it is. Well, why don't we I, I want to, say, to Can to you find, find something tinder. that you're looking for something flammable? I'm, I'm sort of scouting out the situation. Uh, okay. So why don't you make a science roll? Uh, you are a faith character. Uh, I'm a science Haynes, character. Your number, uh, sorry, you are a, you are a science character. Your number is five. Um, and uh, you are making a uh, science roll because you are looking for something. You have a cold, rational search. Um, and uh, let's say you can roll one because... Expertise in flammability. Well, but expertise in searching the jungle... I mean, you can make a case for it if you think, but yeah. I, I, I mean, whether or not I can make uh, wild places R- like, set like themselves I mean, on fire is... is. Let, let's stick with one for now. Absolutely. Uh, that's a success. That is a success. Um, so yeah, you. it doesn't take you long to find uh, a large patch of sort of dried out grass and leaves and uh, some dead wood that looks... Very dry. Mm. Excellent. Um, I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to zip it into my wheelchair cushion, and then I'm going to bring a lesser amount back to the group. Hey guys, I found some tinder. We can use it to make fire. Oh, great. Well, we found shelter, so we're heading to. Yeah, good. Um, you said you had a lighter, right? Yes. Oh, good. Pull good. It um, I. I think we should settle down here for the night and yeah. uh, reassess in the morning to see where we should keep going. Okay. Um, I haven't taken a look at any of these cave paintings yet, but I'm going to start working on this fire. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Thank you for the tender haze. I was worried because we lost sight of you for a second, but I'm glad. I'm glad we're all okay. Like, Does anybody have any still food? It. Well, I saw a dog. I don't. Or a polar bear. All right, do you want to punch it and bring it back for dinner? Um, which? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm, not especially. Okay, yeah. Um, I guess I'll look for food. Uh, I don't think you should go alone. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe we could just, you know, do without food for a night and then think, hopefully meet some people tomorrow and then be rescued. And- I think in okay. the morning we can see what we can find in the woods. Yeah. yeah. Whoever built the dock runs the zoo, whatever yeah. this nonsense is. Uh, people wouldn't have settled here if there wasn't start. something. The fact that there are cave paintings yeah. means that you this have is a long lighter settled. And it's yeah. Kindle, so I'm, I'm just going to give you that. The Great. fire starts. Uh, right. and what's, what's the plan in the morning? Um, I think the plan in the morning should be... Uh, to see if this road east leads anywhere. If not, we should go back to the road north, see where that goes. I think we circle around the island. You think you circle around the island? We need to... People are most likely to be near the shore, and it lets us know how big this island is. I don't want to go into the wilderness. It's true, I just hate running into dead ends, and I want to make sure we're not... Well, an island, you know, it goes around. It can't be a dead We're assuming this and is we'll, an right, island. And we'll just end up at that also, road north. Also, we are assuming this is an island. There is nothing that's right. told us this is an island. It could be a peninsula. <laughs> well, I was thinking peninsula. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nothing. We would have to be very far off our flight path to end up could on any be, kind could of continent. Could that be possible? Well, we crashed. How did yes. So that's probably... Was it just turbulence that took us out? What happened? Yeah. Does, anyone Does anyone remember anyone... what we were flying over before we crashed? The ocean, I think? Did anyone... the I, I was watching TV. I think it was I the Pacific. I was asleep. No, the entire flight path shouldn't take so us out. So we could be anywhere. Yeah. Because what if we were hijacked? We oh, would have no. noticed. Oh my God. Would I we? Don't, I don't... What, I, I don't know. Point is, I think that we should give the East Trail a little bit more 
like well, give it a chance. Down, but then I think we should go back and see what the North leads us. And if it leads us nowhere, at least we are getting a better understanding of the layout of the land. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, we so, <laughs> we happened to figure out that I was an Alaskan trooper because we ran into a fucking polar bear. Yeah. Uh, what, what about y'all? Any skills we should know about that we can use? I just go to UCLA. I'm just a student. Oh. What are you studying? Uh, law. Law? Yeah. Why, why Sydney? Or just to Australia. get away. It was just, vac just a vacation. Yeah. Just to get away for a little bit. Makes sense. But I mean, it doesn't even matter. I was planning to drop out anyway, so... I, what I'm saying is I have no practical skills. Oh, okay. well, I'm sure, I mean... Yeah. I'm sure... You'll, you'll be fine. Yes, we'll, we'll figure yeah, out something. I don't care. You guys don't have to try to make me feel better. Like, I'm saying we don't have, I don't have any practical skills. I barely survived. It's fine. I don't need my oh, okay. feelings coddled right now. It's okay. Okay. Easy. Fine. Fine. All right, you guys obviously worry have about skills. Feelings, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, Haynes. You obviously have skills. You know what you're doing. Solomon, you know what you're doing. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's good. What, what are you doing? How did you get those past security? What? Yeah, did you like... The same way you got that lighter. Smuggle them up your butt? Sure. What's up with that? I, I guess they just didn't check. I don't know. Yeah. So, did you plan to bring it on or did you forget about it? I forgot about it. Are you trying to, be, trying to quit smoking? I'd like to insight check. Uh, she's gonna see if she's... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, oh I'm, I'm reading tells yeah. on the face. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be a science roll, uh, which means you want to uh, roll uh, under your number, under. Uh, which is five. Mm -hmm. um, and go. you can roll two for this. Mm. Two successes. Um, okay. Did you just forget about it, or did you mean to take a lighter with you wherever you went? I've been trying to quit smoking. What's with the third degree? I and mean, we're all just trying to get by. What, what does it matter if she has a lighter? Um, it's just a big lighter. I mean, it doesn't. She does seem to just be trying to quit smoking. Or, or as far as you can tell, you don't see any tales about that. Right. You know what? I'm noticing that Haynes is acting pretty intense. Yeah. And I'm feeling okay. like. Let's not try to yeah, jump to okay. conclusions. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. let's not, because yeah. we're all on the same flight, right? Yeah. It seems like we're all American. I don't see any... You guys aren't Australian or anything? Color, but sure. American. Right. Yeah. But wait, you said you're Ala Alaskan. That's American, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alaska. Yeah. Or Canadian? Canadian? No, 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 no. It's Alaska. Alaska is in America. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's true. Sure. You look it up. <laughs> Look Look, it up. I, I didn't mean to be all <laughs> weird about it. I mean, 9-11 yeah, yeah, yeah. just happened just three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Security's weird. Secure, it's true, it's true. Just three years ago. Security's exactly. weird. Years ago. So uh, you'll, and so uh, you'll forgive me if maybe I'm finding all of these weapons and accelerants on a plane a bit suspicious. It's, it's a lot, but I think our biggest priority is the fact that we just fell out of the sky. Yeah. Into sure. an unknown place. And, uh, I, and I'm really lucky people. that... I'm really lucky that I ended up with you three because you seem like incredibly capable people, so. Well. And, and, and while you're sort of talking around the fire, uh, the wind blows a little bit, and as the wind blows, you sort of hear picking up in the wind this sort of... These, like, sort of just thousands of whispers all happening at the same time. Freaking out uh, you guys, immediately. Do you guys hear that? You're freaking and, out? And yeah. while that's going on, um, what, what you feel like you're hearing um, is a message first from Meaning of Night, uh, our good friend who draws our carrier pendant. Thank you! Uh, and Meaning of Night says, uh, I may be a little lost on the references, but you guys are doing amazing. Uh, happy <laughs> to see so many friendly phrases, new and old. Uh, see in another life, brother. P.S. Hector with an encyclopedia on something he loves. It's more <laughs> likely than you think. <laughs> Inaccuracies. <laughs> it's okay. It's a work in progress. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the T boys, Tyler boys, uh, uh, says uh, a friendly reminder. Mark, your friend Rachel is likely watching and silently judging whatever you do. Rachel. Who's Rachel? I don't know who Rachel is, unless. Unless is this is this like a clue to my character or is T boys messing with me right now? Is T boys making a reference? With... So or is there someone named Rachel who is very hurt? <laughs> 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 oh, let us know in the chat. Dom will, Dom will relay that to us. If there is somebody named Rachel watching, thanks for watching. That's great. Yes, but if, thank but if, you, if Rachel. If T-Boyce is telling me that Rachel is a character that I know, 
maybe T Boyce is making a reference to why I picked Mark, and maybe T Boyce is wrong with what Mark I am. It doesn't matter. In any case, thank you. Thanks. That's very nice. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> uh, and DJ, uh, he says Rachel. Oh, Rachel Hine? Question mark. Oh, okay, oh, great. oh, I see. oh yeah. yeah, we, we know that Rachel, Rachel Hine. We know that Rachel. Yes. Dislikes the ending of Lost. Is definitely not watching this. Oh yes. But is a snappy well, dresser and therefore yeah. is more correct than We love her anyway. <laughs> usually, usually she is. That is my judgment. Uh, and DJ Phoenix says, uh, may the whispers protect you on the island. In other words, I hope that all of you are having a ton of fun. Uh, thank you, DJ Phoenix. That Phoenix's is true. Uh, Whether they protect yeah. us. We haven't okay. encountered a smoke monster yet, so yeah. we're all having fun. I don't know what that means. Uh, and with that, those whispers sort of sort of disappear into the wind. It, was. Did you it sounded vaguely encouraging. Do you think it was that French woman? It might have been. I want to... What is her deal? I want to get up and go slowly to like the mouth of the cave to see if I can hear anything better from outside of the jungle. I am sitting in the back of the cave. Um, I'm sure. Trying to make sure not that like no one goes too far. Okay, You're border collieing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to move away from the group. I'm a, I'm a kid. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, Solomon? You walk to the front of the cave and uh, you, you you sort of look out over the jungle and and it's quiet out there. Okay. Uh, your your fire is burning in the cave. That's sort of the only light coming from the mouth of the cave. Oh, going, I, also, I don't hear anything else. And, and exactly as you say that, uh, in the distance you sort of hear this kind of... And like a bunch of like kind of weird mechanical animal sounds. They are very hard to kind of get a beat on. Uh, it is certainly not... I back up into the cave. Oh my god. Yeah, and, and, and while the sound is playing off in the distance, you hear suddenly, like, the sound of, like, trees cracking and and some sort of giant thing just kind of moving and the sound is getting louder and louder and it's just those, the you know, it, it sounds like it is coming directly at oh you. Oh, God. <laughs> is it coming? Just like that. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Or west. Which way is it coming from? Um, we'll say the cave entrance faces to the west, so it's coming from the west towards the east. Okay, um, great. You uh, got to watch the sunset. Did you watch the sunset? Oh, yes, you got to watch the sunset, yes. Uh, okay. That's what you're thinking about right now? I mean, it was a nice time. <laughs> he's, he's mind wandering okay. sometimes. It was nice, um, but... So, yeah, uh, this uh, this sort of pounding sound is coming at you, and you just hear this this cracking and, and this sort of loud something, and it just sort of seems to be tearing in the jungle right at the Oh, cave. God. Uh, oh, my God. We gotta, we gotta get out of this cave. Mm. Is there is, is there any way out of this cave? This is this this is absolutely. If whatever's outside gets into this cave, we might be screwed. We, gotta we have go. to uh, find out. Yeah. Yeah. This go. is go, a go, good go. reason to go north. Leave the fire. Uh, Run in the middle of the night in the dark. That uh, sounds like a terrible back idea. Up into the cave. Into yeah, the fire. Yeah. Put out the fire. Yeah. Let's put out the fire. No, leave the fire and let's go. Leave the fire. It could be threatened okay. by the fire. Whatever. It'll be attracted to the fire. Right? Is that not how? Either one of those two is fine. It is not. It is absolutely not how animals work. Do animals love fire? Uh, animals hate fire. Does it sound like an animal yeah. to you? Yeah. What did it sound like to you? I thought Whatever it, was, it is, I thought more it was likely to hate fire than not hate fire. Into and, the cave and, now. And while, oh, thank you for the show, Mr. Strawberry. Um, I like uh, that noise, that's, so keep subbing because I like and, that noise. And, <laughs> and while you're yeah, arguing about that, uh, that sound just gets closer and closer, and suddenly it feels like it is just on the edge of the jungle in front of the oh cave. God, oh my God. And right before whatever it is emerges, instead what emerges is a woman. Uh, and she is not the same woman you saw before. Uh, she has, you know, um, well, she, she, she looks pretty frightened and she's running for her life and she's sort of screaming and she comes running at you. She sees the light from the fire and runs into the cave and just starts screaming. She's like, oh my God, what is it? Get it away from me. Get it away from me. What is that thing? Okay, I go to her. Uh, uh do like, any of us recognize her? Highly suspicious. Yeah. Um, Allie, uh, you look at this person and immediately recognize Miri Cook. Got it. Um, Miri Cook, uh, the person who you met on the plane in your flashback. Our viewers might recognize from the flashback. <laughs> yes. From your but our fellow players would no, not I go straight for her and want to make sure she's okay. Sweet. Are you okay? I also like, go immediately yeah. to Miri. Miri, you made it. You're alive. You know her? Yeah, we're friends. Oh, thank God. And, and she looks at you and, and sort of looks a little weirded out, and, you know, she's like... It's, 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 what happened? Tell me. Tell me. There's, there is something out there. Some thing. Polar bear? It's bigger than a polar bear. 
a really big polar bear. Did the noises stop real quick? Just did the noise like did the, the yeah? Noise? I mean, okay. I, I, yes. It's like the noises are gone. Uh, when she emerged into the light, whatever it was seems to have not come out behind her. Um, oh. Perhaps scared away by the light. Uh, perhaps just whatever, whatever it was. You fell out of the plane. Were you the only survivor? She's like, <sighs> I've washed up. Okay, sit beach. down. Sit, sit down. Catch we've your breath. We've got a washed. fire. Do you have any food? No, I don't. But you, were you okay, I think there are bigger priorities than food. Do you have right any now. injuries or anything? Right yeah. now, yeah. she looks cut up. She looks like she's been running through the jungle. There yeah. are cuts on her face, and she says, "Yeah, she says, I, I pulled you all. I, I pulled you all from the water." What? Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. The, I put you on the dock. Where did you go? What happened? Well, you were all unconscious, and I went. I followed the dock to see where it could go, and I got lost in the jungle. And when I found my way back to the dock. You were gone, but there was just this thing. It said 8.15 and an arrow pointing off, and I followed it. Oh. And, I, and, I, and I came through the jungle, and I was walking. It got dark. I didn't have any light. And then there was just... There were these noises. Well, you're and here I, now, Mary. It's okay. Mary, you Fun. pulled all three of us by yourself from the water. Four. 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 Sorry, four. Yeah, four I can count. Yes. The tide was high. I, I dragged you along to the beach. Do you remember okay. the crash? Do you remember what happened where you were? I stayed awake through the whole thing. I just, I plunged into the water and and I struggled and and, and, and suddenly the you know one of the windows popped open and, and I'm small. I, I was able to, to to push it open. It was one of the emergency windows and yeah. I, I swam up to the beach and and you were all close to it. I, I grabbed as many people as I could. Everybody didn't make it. There were other bodies. I just, I only had so much strength. She puts her head down and, and looks. I put my hand shaking. on Mary's shoulder and grip it just a little too tightly. You did well. <laughs> and, and Mary jumps up, and she she looks around and, and I and grip she, even tighter. And, and she to sort of whoa, keep her where she is. Not not visibly, easy. but like you know, yeah. you can feel pressure, but it's not yeah. necessarily clear. So that's okay. white knuckling. All right, yeah. <laughs> and and she just pulls sort of away from you and, and just sort of circles around the cave and, and just sort of stands behind you as if to put something between you and them. She's like, it's... Is everything all right between... Do you two know each other? Yeah, we're friends. Right, Mary? Yeah. yeah. Were you was, traveling I was, together? I was talking yeah, to Mary. I'm just a little weirded out right now, and I just, I just, I just sure, don't want sure. anybody sure. touching me. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Understandable. Well, we'll keep you safe. Like, Why don't you rest for a little while? Get some sleep. Should we still move out? If whatever the heck was outside stopped moving, I mean, do we have any reason to, or should we it's just still out there? Stay the night in the cave. It seemed. I good. think shelter is better than no shelter. Okay. Yeah, it didn't cross the threshold of the okay. cave, so. That's right. a good sign, yeah. and we should probably figure out. Shifts. Yeah. Right. Shifts. Shifts. Yeah. We get five now, so it'll be easier. It will be, uh, and I'll stay up for as much as I can as well. Uh, Sounds good. So cool. that we have two pairs of eyes rather than just. Yeah, let's do let's do groups of two. I'm Mark, by the way. Hi, Mark. I'm Mark. You're Mary. Uh, my name is Miri. Miri with an I. Miri, sorry, Miri. With two eyes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, you poor cool. thing. You're tired. I know. Thank you yeah. for pulling us all out of the water. I yeah. I'm yeah, trying to remember again. if I saw drag marks on the beach. Uh, why don't we roll for that? Okay. Um, that's. Calm, precise action. Uh, yeah. You are trying to remember something specific. I wasn't uh, paying close attention, so it's not <laughs> easy. Um, <laughs> and uh, you are, uh, Solomon, you are a faith character that's two. You were trying to remember something. This is a uh, science roll, but you've tried, probably tried to remember a bunch of stuff in your life, so you're not great at it, but you can roll three. You're oh. an expert at trying to remember stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, that happened to you very recently. Trying to roll under a two? Um, you are trying to roll, uh, is Sorry. a science roll? Yeah, so you are trying to roll, uh, under your two. Okay. Well, that is, oh, oh, two, two ones. Two ones, yeah. Whoa, wow. dang. Well, yeah. that qualifies. Oh, that is an outright success, and yeah, That's you absolutely you. do remember that amongst those footprints, there were some drag marks pulling, uh, a cup, looks like, some oh. things out of the water, and, uh, what, what you remember in your mind from the footprints and the drag marks, Matches up with the story okay. she tells. I, I relay that. Or, okay. Right, yeah, yeah, I wondered what those drag marks were about. Um, this honest, is, honestly, I, my working theory is, was that the polar bear dragged us onto the... <laughs> she she turned <laughs> po polar bear? Oh, yeah, there's a... Well, 
All right, I just... We ran into a bear, and we also ran into a woman with a rifle, and she didn't seem like she was all there. So... She went back into the jungle. There's also a dog in the mix. Yeah. Like a lab. A dog? Like a domesticated I dog. I can't, I can't, I can't handle this now. And, and she sort of like, curls okay, up Okay, you should, ball you should sit down. This let's, is insane. Let's figure out She's this. like, someone will keep watch, right? Yes. Two at a time. Don't so, you worry about it. Mm-hmm. You rest. Someone will keep watch on all of us, right? Yes. Two. I, I, I give, I give Mary, like, like, I sort of catch Mary's eye and I give, like, a slight nod, like. And, and, and she, she, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna make you roll for that, actually, Cohen. Okay. Um, Sorry. No, no, that's, that, that, this is actually good. Uh, why don't you roll, it's a faith task, you are, you're sort of like diplomacy, you're, you're sort of, sort of trying to put out a vibe of safety, you'll keep an eye on her, right? I'm picking up some um, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I wanna figure out. We don't even have inside checks on that? Come on, kids! <laughs> Yeah, true. Good point. <laughs> um, you, you can make inside checks on that, but you know, you but since she said just ask everybody to keep an eye on everybody, you are welcome to assure that you are just gonna keep an eye on things in general. Sure. Uh, and that uh, you can roll two for that, because this is something that you want to do and you have tried to do, uh, the protector of people. I, I was trying to get over two. Uh, yeah, this is a faith roll. Uh, sorry, you want to get um, yeah. under two. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, no, over your number, uh, which is uh, two. No, that okay. is over. Oh, I yeah. got a four and a two. Was me oh, two. okay, yeah, so that gets you two successes, and it gets you a question. Oh, uh, you can ask the island if you want to ask the island, island. island. question. All right, should I be worried about Haynes? Mm. That's a, not a question the GM would know. <laughs> you have to ask a question he would know. Okay. <laughs> Should I be worried about Mary? Excellent. Um, I would say, yeah, be worried about Mary. Okay. There's something about Mary. Uh, There's something, oh wow. <laughs> oh no! Well, it's been fun. I didn't do the actual <laughs> Mary movie though, so be something thankful for that. Something about Mary. Sam. Zach and Mary make a point. Oh, that's right. Oh, that, oh, that doesn't count, but you basically did it. That's right, I forgot about So that. yeah, uh, I would say keep an eye on, on Mary. Okay. Um, and, uh, and, and and Mary sort of curls up and, and falls asleep very fast. And now, who's on first watch and who's going to sleep? Um, I'll be on first watch. I'll be on first watch, too, with Ralph, because okay. I have decided that she knows what's up, and I'm not going to move away too much. And I couldn't sleep right now if I tried. And I yeah, that's kid. sort of what I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. right. Wait, how old is it? 35. It checks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, All right, Haynes, I guess you want to take the next watch? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it sounds great. All right, so uh, the two of you we will put you on watch. Okay. So you're an Alaskan Mountie. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, what were you doing in Sydney? Family. Oh, cool. Um, my uh, daughter and I don't really talk, mm. and she lives there. And mm. um, thought I would. Come say hi for a bit. Do me a favor, both of you make a science roll. Um, Science roll, you are trying to roll uh, under under your number. You got uh, it. Which uh, for you is a three, and for you is a two. You can roll a three rave, um, and you you can roll one. I failed it, I rolled a a four, I I didn't do it. Three, six, and one. Three, six, and one. So no science. Uh, So uh, your number was two, three, six, and one. You You get one. Yeah, you get one victory. Um, oh, thank you for the bits. Hey, uh, Buffalo Val. Buffalo Val. Buffalo Val. Like that name. Um, oh, Buffalo Val. So you're, you're both on watch and you're keeping yeah. an eye out, and you're doing Buffalo. a great job because you're a cop. I'm not doing a good job. And you're a college student, yeah, so staying up on watch, not your thing. You are kind of mm-hmm. just zoned out. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, you guys are talking and you're doing your uh, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm scanning still. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm, I'm invested in Ralph's story because I'm a student of people. Yeah, no, that, absolutely. And you guys are chatting it up. What, what are you two doing? Are you I sleeping? Immediately went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Just like, it's a little unsettling. It's like it's you very would think that after this day, but I'm just, I'm just out. And what are you doing? I'm definitely sleeping. I'm just lying there. My eyes are closed. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm right. sleeping. Whatever, whatever beguiling plans you have are gonna be a lot What's, less. Yeah. Who says things are gonna be beguiled? Is Mary sleeping? Is Mary sleeping? Mary is fast asleep. Uh, and uh, you two are talking, <laughs> and you and 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 the night, uh, you know, it seems peaceful. Um, yeah. And at some point, uh, the talking water. about your like life. I want to hear about. Uh, so why? So why law? Oh, uh, it's a family thing. Yeah. My dad's, my dad's a lawyer. When it's a family business. Um, and so, is that what you want to be? No. No? I what? wanted to drop out. 
Yeah? And what were you going to do instead? Pursue comedy. Yeah? In Los Angeles, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, things are Good really, for you. Things are really happening right now. Okay. In LA, people don't know, but, uh, you know, it seems like things are really exploding in the comedy improv world, and um, mm -hmm. I'm hearing rumors that, uh, that, that uh, Upright Citizens Brigade wants to come out to LA next year, so mm -hmm. you know, I want to get in on the ground floor of that, because that's going to yeah. be from New York. They're in New York. It's a theater, and, you know, I just, um, yeah, I actually went to Sydney for a comedy festival. Yeah, how'd that go? Yeah. Uh, terrible, I bombed. It was great. Oh, good for you. <laughs> While you two are bonding, you are having a really weird dream. Mm -hmm. just <laughs> yes, vivid prophetic and, vision. And strange, and, and why don't you tell us, what do you see in your strange, vivid dream? Okay, I see a polar bear. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Digging. And... It looks like it's digging, it's digging up. At first, I think it's like digging up some someone that it's buried, like prey. This is on my mind. But as it digs, fire starts coming up, like almost like it's blooming, like a flower. It's just like coming out of its, and it starts digging deeper and deeper. And then it's weirdly, it's fire in the shape of a person, like a chalk outline made of just fire in the ground. Like a, if a person hit the ground really hard, left an imprint, and then we're fire. That's really cool. Yeah, and you know what? That is exactly what you see in your dream. And it, <clears throat> it's, it's so strange, uh, it shocks you awake. And when, it's your, and when you're awake, it, it's your turn for watch, and these two are done. Um, so, the two of you are on watch, the two of you, uh, what are you doing? Are you going to head to sleep? Uh, I'm going to say, I think I can stay up for just a bit more. Uh, I've done this a lot, uh, so I don't mind sitting around for a bit more just in case you need a pair of eyes, extra pair of eyes. I'm going to try to go to sleep. I'm exhausted. You should, kid. Yeah. All right. You should all be right. feeling our best. You two are up and you are on main watch now. She's mm -hmm. the extra pair of eyes. All right. I'm doing the thing like uh, Tom Hanks in Castaway, which came out three years ago, <laughs> where Very I'm laying on the ground and I keep going like, keep like turning on and turning off my little flashlight. Ah, yeah. Remember that part? <laughs> um, on his first night. Don't you set the batteries, Dan? You, you know what? While you're know, turning you're on, right. on and off your little flashlight, um. Shh. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, but oh, let's all down. do it because oh. we're all on the same oh, okay. page immediately last okay. time. Flashback time. One, two. Okay. Okay. Whoosh. Cut to <laughs> cut to a pretty Amen. like pretty like well off house in the suburbs. And uh, we zoom in on like um, on the kitchen, and it's super well lit. There's a bunch of light. it looked like this big, beautiful kitchen, the type of house that like they probably have like nannies and servants and stuff. And then this guy comes in, this older guy, um, in like his fifties, graying temples, big mustache, and he walks in, and he's like, "I'm not, I'm not asking, to, I'm not telling you that you can't do what you want to do. I'm just saying, don't drop out." And then Mark comes in, like, "Dad, you don't get it, okay? I don't want to do this. Look." You're gonna screw yourself over if you don't have at least some kind of a degree. That's all I care about. I'm trying to look out for you, Mark. You can keep doing your little comedy thing. My little comedy thing, Dad, okay? It's, it, you're just dismissing it. And then you see another woman and she comes in and she's really upset and she's like, Mark, your dad is just trying to look out for your future. You can still do your hobby on the side and on the weekends. Mom, it's more than a hobby, okay? You don't know the type of people that I've met. You don't know the type of connections. I can do something. I could maybe be on television. I, I, I could be in the movies. That's what I want to do. Oh, Mark, it's, it's really hard, okay? That, that business is really, really hard. You know that. I know, Mom, I know. But the other thing that my dad doesn't want to seem to acknowledge is that I don't want to do this for a living, all right? I never wanted to be a lawyer. I don't want to do this, son. You don't know what you're talking about, you're too young, okay? I know that sounds like a cliche, but you don't know what the hell you're doing. Dad, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna drop out. You're not gonna make me do something that I don't wanna do, you're not gonna make me waste my life. God damn it, Mark, listen to me. No, you listen to me, Dad. And then Mark gets right up in Nolan's face and he's just like, you have never heard me in my entire life, okay? You just think I'm some entitled little shit, but I'm telling you that I'm good at this thing. And then Nolan has this look in his eye, and he clenches his fist, and he just, whap, wallops Mark across the face. 
and just hits him right across the lip. And Debbie goes, Nolan! And she runs over and, and he leans back and he goes, I, 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 I. And then Mark, tears in his eyes, reaches up and punches his dad across the face. Mark, you hear Debbie say, as they both look at each other and Mark is bleeding from the lip, Nolan's fine. It was a hit that barely really connected, but it was, it was just more of the effect of it. And then you cut to Sydney Airport and Mark's on the phone, right? He's on the phone and he's talking. I know, mom, I know. But just, just tell him that I'm coming home, okay? Tell him that I, that I, that I'll, I'll talk, I'll talk to him. I just needed to blow off some steam, okay? I love you. I know, I love you too, mom. Okay, bye. Hangs up the phone and then he's in line and it's like, He's next to like Matthew Fox and like they're getting, they're getting in line. And then it cuts back to his him turning it on and off. As Haynes says, don't waste the battery. So he's like, all right, and he puts it away. Um, yeah, that uh, that is amazing. Um, and yeah, you are now back on the beach clicking that little light on and off. Uh, th- those are flashbacks. By the way, everybody remember um, uh, you have uh, your story points that came with the flashback unlocked to play when you want. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys unlocked that. Thank you. You've been incredibly generous. We've still got two tiers left. We get 25 more dollars. Time skipping happens. I've got to please make time skipping happen. It, it doesn't have to be $25 donations. You can give a dollar, you can give five, you can give anything. I'm so desperate for yeah. that one to come to pass. Yeah. Uh, do do subscriptions should... also help with that? Uh, subs. Subs no, are re-rolls. Oh, they give subs re-rolls. Re-rolls. Oh, those are re-rolls. Uh, I just like those do noises. Bits, <laughs> 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 I mean, like the bits maybe help with those? <laughs> Bits, do bits help yep. with those? Yeah, uh, bit. Yeah, sure. You bits help. <laughs> bits help with. Oh my God, Denova! Dude, Denova. Okay. Denova is too good. Denova is our good friend. Uh, thank you for that. Um, he's going to be joining us on one of these later in the season. I'm excited. He's a great guy. I can't remember if cool. Denova likes Lost or not. I'm going to quiz him next time we see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but in any so, case, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Denova. That unlocks time skipping, so that's a thing that is oh, going great. to happen. Oh, thank God. So um, we can skip from events that I don't know, know or understand. Yes. To more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And so much stuff Sam won't understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. With less context. Just roll with it. You'll be great. Um, I am an expert at that. Yeah, that is Sam puns. Uh, so yes, um, you right. you are back on the beach, clicking the, your light on and off. You are, you, you know, I trying stopped. To get I stopped because Haynes gave me that look, and I'm like, okay, put it away. And 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 Haynes and uh, uh, Solomon, you are on watch. You are, uh, you know what? Uh, why don't you make a faith roll? Okay. You can roll two die to see how well you can stay awake. Okay. You want to roll over your number? Uh, uh, two and a five. Two and a five. Your number is two. two. So yeah. you get works. to yeah, okay, success. What, what you get to ask the island question? a question. Okay, I have okay. looked into the eye of this island. But um, it's a success, so you're you're staying awake. Okay, great. I'm staying awake. Um, I'm going to say. Uh, can I say something as specific as does it make more sense to go north? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I want to say. Does it make more sense to go north? Um. Whew. I hate to sound like Yoda. Of course, these things are only true from a certain point of view. Okay. Uh, but it makes a lot of sense to go north. Okay. Um, I, I will say is that, you know, there's something north. Um, okay. 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 So, yeah. That's all I, that's all I wanted. Um, um, and then I keep staying awake. And you keep staying awake. And what are the two of you doing? Keeping an eye out. Um, definitely keeping an eye on Haynes. So what were you doing in Australia? Oh, I was just uh, helping out a friend. How about oh, you? That's super vague. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a? Did you have a friend who needed you to go to Australia or something? Yeah, a friend I met on on travels. My late husband had a lot of connections. Oh, to that's. I'm sorry. To, how did he? It was recent. Oh God, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sure I'm I'm not coping as well as I could, so if I've been a bit snappy, I'm, I'm very sorry. Oh, no, I mean, we, we were in a plane that crashed. It's fine. Yeah. I don't we're think anybody... Really yeah, we're not... Nobody's at their best. How did you say you knew Mary? I didn't. Uh, are you familiar with HIPAA? HIPAA? It's, uh, like the... the Hippocratic Oath? Um, well... That is involved in what we do. It's uh, well, 
Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, but it uh, governs health privacy. Huh. Um, I, I am I'll a, be honest, I know nothing about that. I'm a psychiatrist. Okay. That's, that's a great profession. Uh, is it's, that, you have to be a doctor to be yes, one of those. Yes, yes you do. So Dr. Haynes. Oh, so you have some medical training. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's so helpful. That's good to I mean, know. Yeah, but yeah. it's, we only have the one year of internal medicine. But yes. Oh. I'm a psychiatrist, and that is what I do. So, yes, um, I know Miri. Oh. And that's all I, oh, I can. I under, I see. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to pry. It's just. All right, of that, course. The French woman, she said, uh, what was it she said? Um, one of you is, uh, I mean, God, she's. Pretending. Yeah. That's weird, huh? Yeah. How about you? Oh, um, what about me? Oh. Oh, uh, you know, just, well, it's a little embarrassing. I, I wanted to do, wanted to do a walkabout. And I did it. Australia is a good place for that. Yeah, I, ideal, I think. Mm -hmm. Um. It didn't really pan out. Um, they're super hard, as it turns out. Um, I thought. Hey, thank you, Modern Chow. Hey, Modern Chow. I thought it was gonna be a lot more spiritual and a lot less starving in a desert. <laughs> if I've seemed a little obsessed with food um, since it crashed. I didn't read the fine print. You're supposed to bring supplies. Um, yeah, it was really rough. I actually had to be, actually had to be, um, like, airlifted out. Sure. Yeah, it was rough. Um, it wasn't, like, the best experience of my life, but... What do you usually do? Um, uh, well, I'm trying to break into the private security sector, um... I mean, you, you know, got those brass knuckles by, so, like, obviously... Yeah, you know, I put a lot... Right. I sort of... I guess I might have put the brass knuckles before the horse a little bit. Um, I don't really have a lot of leads. I kind of thought that this walkabout thing would help me center myself, and then um, I ended up just nearly starving to death while my hand... I got really... My hands got really badly burned because these are made of brass, and it's very hot out there, and I forgot to take them off. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so, um... Sounds like quite a travail even yeah, before the plane wow. crash. Yeah, um, well, that's, it's been par for the course, I'm going to be honest. It hasn't been the... I don't think it was the best time anyone's ever had in Australia. Poor thing. I've always been curious about those walkabouts. I almost looked into it while I was over, but... I don't know. I, I felt like maybe I wouldn't have been able to get in. Mm. Huh. See, I can make lost references! Very well done. Very nicely done. Oh, yeah. very so uh, you yeah. guys are talking the OS, OSC moment. Yeah. I realized I was like, oh my god, this is John Locke's exact. <laughs> so, oh my god, and then, so I had to make the change too. I got on the walkabout and did very badly. <laughs> nice, nice. Good for you. Uh, no, it's great. It it's was great. good. I it, love it. Uh, it fits in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a very. You guys are talking the night's passing. Uh, anything anybody wants to do? I think I want to take, like, as little bit of a uh, nap. Hey, thank you yeah. for the bit, hey. uh, Papari oh, pa pa Man. Papari pa Man. Papari Man. Pa 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 man. Thank you. Or Paper Rye Man. Oh, Paper Rye Man. That is also possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paper Rye Man. Either, both. Paper thank you. Man. There you go. Um, so yeah, what do you want right. to do? So, uh, you're having like, a nappy now? Yeah, I'm gonna have like as much sleep as I can get before we all get up. Because I would yeah, like to stay up yeah. with some other watch, but then I, I want to get some sleep. Sure, you go yeah. to sleep. Then once Ralph is asleep, um, I'm, I'm gonna sort of quiet down <gasps> and see... And see whether Solomon just sort of drifts off if no one's talking to keep him awake. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely don't drift off? I, that's, I went to sleep. I'm just being quiet. Super what? I went to sleep super hard. And okay, now I'll I tell you what. Keeping my eyes out, especially keep, I'm you super just, nervous. You're super nervous, <laughs> right? You're, uh. I should not have. 
this oh, little and fragile child. Right, I'll tell you what. Oh, you're a little nervous. You're you, you've slept a little bit, but you have been through a plane crash and all sorts of horrible stuff. You could be exhausted. Yeah. Uh, so if their their strategy is that they're going to try and uh, I'm just going to be boring stay quiet and not do anything that helps. Why don't we him have stay you awake. roll uh, a faith roll? You want to roll okay, over so. your number. Uh, you can roll three. Uh, oh. You can roll. Let's roll... so even roll two okay. uh, because you are prepared. You did take a nap. You're trying to stay awake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're trying to roll over your number, Solomon, which is a two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Snake eyes! Now, you actually, you have re-rolls. You can, re you, you can re exchange for re-roll one die if you want to use them now. And then there are the three group re-rolls, which are now only I'm, good have for Have narrative game. fun. You know what? I kind of want to see where this goes. I'm actually hoping, hoping to fail this. Right, no. I mean, yep. sometimes narratively, you're going to fucking stay awake. Right. Well, the three of you are now exactly. asleep. All right, Diner and, and, and Smith, what you got? <laughs> And Miri is asleep, and now what are you doing? Um, all right, so I'm going to... Shank is to... in her sleep. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. No? Nothing. Um, that would be terribly suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go outside the cave a little, a little ways away, clear sound, mm -hmm. and um, I sort of assume they didn't really take much notice of my chair, but there are uh, carbon fiber side guards on them. Carbon fiber... When you break it against the grain, shatters really nicely and gives mm -hmm. you a very sharp edge. Ugh. Okay. Mm. Um, Hi. Yeah. I don't even know. Should I make you roll for that? No, it's, I would it, say you, you just, you are able to shatter your thing because you want to right. and no one's trying to stop you. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to get away from the snap of it. Um, and so I will, uh... Well, what I'll tell you is, yeah, that, that snap, uh, it, it's a little loud, and, uh, as you are a little away from the cave, uh, you see Miri kind of get up, and she sort of ducks her head out of the cave, and she's just sitting out there, and she's... Did you hear that? Hear what? I thought did, I heard... If, did you hear something? I don't know, I thought I did. Uh, uh I do you want to maybe scout it? Out. I can't really do a lot of the train stuff, but if you want to take a look very quickly. She looks at you and she's like... Look, we're all in this together now, Mary. You, you we're all stuck on an island. You stay here. Okay, I'll stay here. And she sets off very slowly, sort of inching away from the mouth of the cave, just towards the jungle. Uh, and, and just starts walking. Um, but we'll say that she brings a little... Uh, Torch that she lights from the fire. She mm -hmm. puts a little mm -hmm. pulls wood from the fire and uses it as a torch as she is walking, uh, so that you know she can see a little bit. Uh, and you just see her sort of start to you know walk towards the uh, walk towards the jungle. I roll back in, uh, sit down, and sort of lean against the wall like I might have dozed off. I don't do anything to pay attention to her at all. Okay. She might just wander off into nowhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's gone for a while. <laughs> Um, but Don't she, do obvious murder, kids! Yeah, no, she's gone for a while, but she uh, she does come back and... and uh, Did and, you see anything? Uh, no, it looks okay out there. All right. And, and she sort of just sits down, and, and she doesn't go back to sleep. She kind of just sits there, waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, I watch her the whole time like a creeper. So okay. you two are just talking in the cave, though, now, right? Uh, no, we, we oh, met okay. out... Outside. Oh, you're, you're she came back in. Yeah, I asked her if she, if she saw anything. Yeah, she, when she, she came back in. She okay, see so that there. that could conceivably wake you up if, if you're yeah, feeling I'm that. Just, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm done with shenanigans. Oh, okay. I have my weapon. Well, okay. what was going on <laughs> is the morning comes, mm -hmm. and uh, first thing in the morning, as everybody I'm sure is sort of feeling feeling a little tired and a little hungry. You, you've been on this island. You haven't eaten in a while. Miri yeah. says. You know, when I was running around out there last night, I passed something in the jungle. Whatever that thing was, when it was chasing me, I was running, I couldn't stop, but there was there was something. It was like this big, giant, wooden crate just sitting Grapes? there. Yeah, just like, right. like Maybe they're crate. supplies. Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe they belong to the zoo, if there's a zoo or something. Or it's something that fell oh. out of the cargo hold. Look, yeah, whatever it is, we right. should find out what it Look, is. That could, seems yeah, like... Yeah, we could stand here all day talking about our Let's crate expense. Can you lead us to it? I have to finish that sentence, I'm sorry. We could stand here all day talking about our crate expectations, but I think we should just go see what it was. I'm sorry. I just walked out of the I would have dropped dead if I had not gotten this. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, I look at uh, 
Look at Solomon. <laughs> great word choice, by the way. No. no. Uh, I think that's a great idea. Great yeah, idea. Friend. Great idea. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, and she. He all are gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> What? 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 No. <laughs> Let's just pack it up. Yes. Okay, oh okay. my God. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Mary's. Uh, I. I. I think I know the way. I don't know. I know the direction at least. It was. Mm-hmm. It was back that way, and she actually sort of points back towards that path that was headed towards the north. Oh. Well, uh, supplies. How, how cognizant are we of our asking the island questions? Mm. Um, is that like an yeah, like how, yeah, like is or? it like I have a gut feeling that tells me to go north, or is it like do I hear a whisper? Like what is uh-huh. it? Just like John Locke said, I have looked into the eye of this island. <laughs> what, I what I saw was beautiful. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Here's what happens. We'll, we'll give you an in the universe. Is, uh, in the cave, what you found was uh-huh. on the on the wall. Okay. Somebody has scratched in. A circle, okay. and then on the bottom of it, there's like a box, right? Uh-huh. And, it, and, and they scratched in the word "dock" next to it. Okay. And then they drew mm-hmm. a line going this straight like up to the other side of the circle. Through. This is recent. This isn't like ancient. Yeah, no. People. This, this is, is this is new. This is like someone just scratched into the no. wall, and it goes straight up to the That's other so side. Good. And then on the other side, there is another box that looks exactly like the dock, okay. uh, but it is not labeled. So we on the opposite that. side of the island. On the opposite side of the island, you, it looks like it looks like the the thing labeled dock, which is maybe what you think what you were on. Uh, that one is all the way on the bottom. This is just diametrically opposed on the on right on right on the other side of the, the circle. So I see that, and I go, hey guys, look at this. Look at what somebody drew on this on this wall. This isn't yeah. This and, isn't and you like find and I listen to him, right, and, and she I like had, yeah. right, found it because of her role. Yeah, so, yeah, but then. You know, we look at this it. This isn't and it's like, like look. It says it yeah. says in in plain English, dock there. This isn't like an ancient people's drawing or something. Yeah. This isn't cave paintings. Maybe that woman with the gun came by yeah. here earlier. Uh, I mean, she was bilingual. Then, why would she write something in a wall unless she was like surviving out here on her own, right? So? Does that mean that she's surviving out here on her own and she's not part of like a let's like find a zoo out or something? So it yes. makes sense to follow this. Do we think? Maybe. Yeah, I this think is so. where the supplies are. Uh, and assuming Mary. that crate of supplies, and whatever uh, yeah. is on the other side of the island, yeah, which I'm you, sure is in no way troublesome or polar bear related. Yeah, it, I'm sure it's not a crate. It with at least a polar is another bear lead. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> so it would be an empty crate is, where a polar bear was. Is the plan to try to get to this other box because if the dock is some kind of civilization, this other square appears must be another kind of civilization. But then I find agree with that. the crate on the way, Mary. Do you think we can do that? I mean. It, it, it was generally in that direction, I think. Okay. We'll keep so our eyes peeled, maybe. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Lead the way, Mary. Is our is our location marked on this map where the cave is? Um, no, but you kind of get the feeling that the the line cutting straight across is mm-hmm. that path headed north that you were headed mm-hmm. from. A little bit inland of the dock. Sure. I was trying to trying to get a sense of like mm-hmm. how far. Yeah. Nah. That that you don't quite have. No scale. You don't have a scale. I, I take a rock and real quick right. This map should have included scale and present location. <laughs> also, we so, had a north. Let's go. <laughs> Stop <laughs> writing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and, and you leave that message. And uh, and and then uh, yeah, the four of you head off uh, towards the north. And uh, okay. what I will say is, um, you walk for quite a while. It's you know, yeah. it, it takes yeah. a day, uh, a little bit, and, and oh yeah, you're going. Miri, s- you're, you're going kind of slow. Miri, how would you? How sure are you of? where this location is, if you had to rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you? It's a very logical way of thinking. I don't know. Four? Maybe three? Better than I don't know. Yes, that's okay. And, and, and she sort of, you know, she seems confused. She feels like, I feel like we've been walking, walking for too long now. But we are walking on a path. Yeah, this is a path. Uh... That was me asking the GM, but like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> no, we are path. aggressively <laughs> sticking yeah. to paths. Yes, mm-hmm. so... Hi. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But we are walking on oh, a path. Oh, so not this path must lead somewhere. the jungle. Good idea. Ever. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. I was thinking of access, but sure. No, I know. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was backing your play yeah, in that yeah. regard. I, mm-hmm. I appreciate that, Solomon. Uh, friendship. Well, yeah. You. While, while you're walking along, what you come across, you see... Off, off in the woods, just off the path, uh, there is, just as Mary described it, uh, a huge crate that has a parachute attached to it. Um, what? And was that airdropped? 
Uh, Probably. That's what that could indicate. Um, I want to look at the age of the wood. Okay, yeah, why don't you make a roll? Uh, you're making a science roll, you want to roll mm-hmm. under your number of hands, which is a five. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can roll one. You're not an expert on wood or anything like that, are you? I mean, only in the sense of old wood tends to be drier. All right, so with about that better. level of expertise, you can roll mm-hmm. one. Yep, exactly. Uh, that, is yep, we're good. Under number. Yeah. Uh, that is success. Um, so you would guess that this box has been here uh, for maybe six months or so. Okay. Huh. Um, and Miri's like, I, I don't even know if this is the same one. I, I feel like we walked too long, but it did look just like this. Then they would have made multiple drops either way. That's interesting. Why are they making drops if there's the dock? Right. I mean, my first, possibly the dock is new. Uh, my first thought was that it could have been from the Pacific Theater, that this could have been quite old. But oh, the Pacific this wood Theater of War. Bad. Yeah, World War II. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, very playing, good, I'm playing catch up. Don't worry, you got okay. it. You're very clever. Good last uh, But no, last six months, so maybe the dock is new? Maybe. You're like looking into the wood, right? Was the yeah. dock wood? Did that look new? I guess it was by the. Ocean, well, it's so it's, it's weathered, yeah. yeah. Anything around salt water does affect aging, and then being in the sun versus not being yeah. in the sun. Uh, what about the I wanna parachute? Yeah. All of this in- yeah. seems to parachute, indicate consistent. Yeah, it looks also like it's been there on the floor for a while. It's been rained on. It's got some leaves blown We should on. gather it when up. When it's outside, it's called the ground. Sorry, that was a Parks and Rec. Hashtag own facts. <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was a Parks and Rec. No, 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 sorry. I, um, yeah, so you want to gather the parachute? Um, yeah, I think this actually, we have, this gives us rope and cloth. Um, we can use your uh, lighter to burn a hole through and snuff quickly. Okay. Uh, burn, burn a hole to, through what? Through well, what? we don't have anything to cut the rope. Oh. Oh, well, if that's sharp there enough to cut, then yeah. there we go. I've been, I've been leaving messages in wood with it. I guess mm-hmm. can, Yeah, I mean, it, sawing yeah. isn't always yeah. scratching, so I didn't want to take well, it for I, granted. I take them but... off and I kind of... So yeah. you're, you're, you're just you trying to put cut some the ropes off the muscle parachutes. into that. Yeah. Yeah. Solomon. Um, oh, yeah. Some snar. I will just open... give you that, yeah. yeah. Can we yeah. open the crate? Yeah. Why don't you give it a shot? Okay. How? What is your approach to opening the crate, Mark? I'm going to look around to see if there is a... I imagine that these crates are designed to be pried open with like a crowbar. Looks I like don't it. have one. So if that's the case though, that we could still maybe, there's it's designed to still hold everything in place, but like maybe there's something along the ed- edge somewhere so that you can get some leverage in it and maybe just, I'll try with my hands, I guess. All right, well, why don't tools. you like look around to see if you can find some, uh, oh, oh, you want you actually want to just try with your hands. I just want to find something on the crate okay. first to be like, guys, look, if we put something in here, yes. let's all look for something. It is a wooden crate that the, looks like there is a spot that's literally like crowbar here. Okay. To somebody I found the up. spot. Does anybody uh, have a crowbar? I'd also like to knock on it to see if I can hear, like, is a very hollow? Smart. Does something, is there something moving in there? Sounds very solid. Okay, got it. Um, okay, then it's still full. Yeah. So, Maybe some supplies or something. Yeah. That's the hope. There's a dead bear in That'd there. That'd be why they'd airdrop you it. You want to go look for something? something? Yeah. Air Maybe a bit, a big stick. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, rock or why something? don't you roll Empty science? Die. Con precise action. Okay. You can roll two die. Ooh. Uh, and you want to roll under your number mark, which is three. a three. All right, that's one you got success. A three, though. Failed, but I got one success on the dot. All right, so Thank you're I can wandering balance. around. You go off to look for something, and Miri also sees what you're doing. Is like, I will help, and, and oh, Miri thanks, wanders Mary. off in a, di- a different direction, uh, and and you are off looking for stuff. What is everyone else doing? Um, I am trying, I'm, I'm trying to border collying, make sure no one gets like too far, keeping an eye on everyone, but also like trying to find a way to like open this mm-hmm. crate. I think I'm gonna get up on top of the crate. You're gonna get up on top of the crate? Yeah, and just try to look around. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I love it. I love Quick it. Good question. Does this crate seem like it opens from like this or like this? Uh, and traditionally, top. pry bar crates, like when I picture it, you put the pry bar under the top lid and you pop the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I'm not going to do that because yeah. that seems very unhelpful. Well, yes, what I'll say is that much better, while it does look like that this is one of those, the crate is on its side. Oh, oh perfect. So the top is actually sort of facing. Oh, then gravity's our friend too. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, Sorry. you hop on top of there. Why don't you make a roll, a science roll? You can roll two die. You're just taking a look around to see what you can scan the environment and see. Yeah. Uh, you want to roll uh, under your number, uh, so- Solomon, which is a two. Okay. One, one. I got one, one, two. Okay. Um, yeah, well, um, off, off in the distance, uh, you see uh, a couple of things. Um, you see that uh, this island has mountains, you know, now standing up top. You can see that there are mountains behind the mountains that you can see. Um, and you can also see, uh, like, a, a radio antenna, like, uh, like the very tippy top sticking out from the trees of what looks like a broadcast antenna. Um, and it is way, way to the north of you. Uh, a long, long walk. Um, you, you, you know, so far as so you, you're having trouble judging the distances, just because you're you're, you're kind of looking now down the slope sure, a little bit. My one experience, really outdoors, did not go so great, and it was a lot more flat desert and a lot less mountains. And did yeah. you say radio tower? Radio tower. <laughs> okay, I'm going to relay that. To did the, you say radio tower? Hey, friends, new friends. It seems like there's. We're friends. Oh, are we friends? We're friends. Yeah. Well, forged yeah. in the crucible of mm-hmm. catastrophe. Yes. You are off looking for That's fine. Miri and I are stuff. Off. Miri is off looking for stuff. What are you doing? Um, I uh, let's see. Uh, right now, I think I'm doing general investigation and perception and keeping a ready eye open. Head on a swivel. Okay. Yeah. And what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm you're, oh, you're shepherding. Right. Yeah, I'm shepherding. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, you find your uh, your rock and you start headed back, and you are just sort of standing by the campsite, uh, mm-hmm. looking around. Yeah. Um, and while you're headed back, yeah, you come back and you start trying to pry at that. Mm-hmm. And while he's banging on that, and while he's standing on the top of the thing, looking off into the distance, and while they are just sort of looking around, kind of keeping an eye out, I guess for polar bears or whatever, strange French ladies, uh, that familiar whooshing sound starts to come. Let's go! Let's go, Rave! What you got, Rave? Oh, fuck! Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Um, so, friends, foliage. Green, green foliage. And uh, if you look at it closely, it's actually a foliage that you kind of recognize around you. Um, this is not Alaska. So, I'm sitting in a room and it feels very much like I've been called into the principal's office. Uh, I'm just a young woman, about 10 years younger, and uh, I'm nursing what's left of my middle, uh, left of my middle finger. In fact, uh, I don't know if any of you noticed this at this point, but my middle finger has been missing on my left hand. I didn't even notice. Didn't uh, notice. There's a man standing in the doorway, by the doorway, the door's closed. He's got a strip of gauze over his eye, and it looks like a fresh wound. In fact, like, in a few weeks, he's probably gonna need an eye patch for that. Oh, no. And he stands like a guard. There's a desk in front of me, and on that desk, there's a gas mask, and across the desk, there's a man that I know very well as a man named uh, Ben Linus. This is and, so specific. Uh, <laughs> he's talking to me, and... We're mid-conversation at the beginning of this flashback, and he says, Look, there's a reason your brother is in a cage, and you aren't, but we are more moving forward with this, and he points at the gas mask. And he says, I need to know that there's going to be no more infighting, and I need to know where your loyalties lie, and my eyes are, like, wide and full of conviction, and I go for that gas mask, and I say, No, this is it. This is is my home. I have been here my entire life, and I would do anything for it. I... I would do anything for it. I am not my brother. And I am, I, like, I'm holding this gas mask like it is a lifeline. And he takes a pause and says, Okay, Mikhail is not very happy about his eye. And I say, I'm not very happy about my finger, but I think we are even. And uh, with that, Mikhail! <laughs> that is Mikhail. Uh, Mikhail. So just to catch up some yeah, people yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. 
in, in, in Lost, uh, there are some native people on the island, native people on the island <laughs> called Others, the people who live on the island before the castaways come. They're called the Others. Uh, and uh, they uh, had a little skirmish with another group that came to the island uh, called the Dharma Initiative, and uh, that skirmish did not end well. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15-year-old spoilers. Um, uh, the, the Others uh, really stuck it to the Dharma Initiative. Um, and, and yeah, kinda, they didn't want them on their island. Yeah, yeah. they didn't want them on their island, and they kind of wiped them out. And, uh, through uh, the Purge, which through, is why we have the gas masks. something called the purge where they just sort of gassed their uh, their One little home base and kind of killed everybody there. Yeah. What's um, using gas so that the came from the Dharma Initiative. Using gas that yeah. came from the Dharma weapons. Initiative so, itself. Yeah. So, Don't yes, uh, so yeah, um, uh, Ralph here uh, is another. And, uh, and, and, and now we are back to the present moment. I'm border calling, making sure all of you are safe. Oh no! <laughs> She's I'm a so good win! <laughs> Let's go. She's Let's an Ethan. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Ethan. Um, you just finally get, nail Got that it. thing. Uh, it, it, it opens up, and what we will say is, uh, because you only rolled one success on that, uh, yeah. you, you, you kind of, uh, hurt your hand, ah. kind of breaks. Oh, um, hurt my wrist. Or, or, or at least badly bruised ah. or something. That's and, a big uh, difference. Yeah. We'll say, whatever Way it is, to go, like, kid. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to make it too, like, uh, you know, uh, too yeah. severe. Too you can severe. genuinely right. die of a right. broken yeah. hand on an um, island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to say your, your, your hand is hurt, and yeah. uh, that's going to be uh, a okay. detriment to you on, on tasks related to using that hand. Did you hurt your hand? Um, yeah, I think I'm okay. <sighs> okay. But the box comes open, and out of it spills, like, little packets of... Food and cans of oh stuff, and they all have this label on it. And they're all labeled white, and they have like this octagon label on it that says Dharma across them. Oh um, it's like there's Dharma branded candy bars, and Dharma branded soups, and Dharma branded ranch dressing, and uh, Dharma branded uh, uh, MREs. Or, uh, uh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just it's food. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, we know what contractor. Uh, someone use us. Yeah, I think whoever, their graphic designer, I think they went for the lowest bid, for sure. Well, it's free to us right now. Yes. Um, here's all Food. of this stuff. What the hell is all of this stuff? <laughs> Look at this. to be um, detergent, oh wine, God. beans. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> is all of that stuff in there? Uh, no, it just is pretty out the wide logo. assortment. Why? Are, what you are you looking at the alcohol? No, I'm, I'm just... Well, I'm curious about the alcohol. I'm curious about oh, the detergent. Big jug of mayonnaise. That's not helpful. Is there, is there detergent? Yeah, there's a little detergent. I there. pick up the detergent. And I say, and I use my one for the episode. I say, what the fuck is this <laughs> about? Yeah, and you've got a bottle of detergent now. This looks like like regular. Well, that, that, I'm gonna surprise. get other stuff. That was just seemed like the weird. So it seems thing. I'm not the only home. things that have crash landed here. This, this is just within a six parachute. months. Yeah. Yeah. This is an intentional. Drop. I wonder yeah. if uh, maybe there was a period when they people couldn't uh, dock here. Maybe the dock was uh, destroyed in uh, monsoon, se- monsoon season or something. Oh yeah, What's in the Pacific. Um, oh. around the fall, I believe. Well, it is September, so it is of course yeah. September. Yeah, of Well, which means that this would have been a while ago. Um. I mean, maybe area. it's from last year. I don't know. Right. I can't tell. Well, it's from. If you're May. saying it's six months. Could six could months be a year? Conceivably. Yeah. So I think I open a package and start eating. I could also so be wrong lucky. about monsoon season. Yeah, you are eating food. Yeah, so I'm going butter too. Oh, I've been craving some peanut butter. There's actually peanut butter. yeah, there's a peanut oh butter sandwich God. in there. There's like peanut, peanut butter sandwich. Peanut no, peanut I just want a peanut butter straight out of a oh, jar. Oh, jar. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, so did you say there was a peanut butter sandwich? Yeah, it's pre-wrapped. Okay, college. Oh, that's a wild. It's <laughs> okay. one of those Starbucks like pre-wrapped Still sandwiches. Growing, so growing, growing boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Starbucks pre-wrapped sandwich. They were way ahead of their time. Let's, uh, uh, found out the grad. <laughs> I grabbed some stuff. I put it in my pockets. All right. Yeah, Not some hungry? Memories. No, I grabbed I grab some food. I that's eat smart, it. though. We okay. yeah. should bring some stuff on, what the, about you? on the road trip. On the trip. Oh, hell um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start popping. How big is this parachute? I eat. Uh, it's it's decent size, but if you fold it up, it's you know it's it's carryable. Uh, what I'm asking is, can we load a bunch of this stuff into the parachute and like tie like a it bag? Up yeah, and then that's have smart. It as, like a bag. Yes, absolutely. Although whoever's carrying it, it's going to be a detriment to your move. To, you know, moving. Uh, I can move to... all heavy stuff without like I'm yeah, a dolly. Un- un- unless you carry yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a dolly. 
Right. Yeah. Hi, yeah. I am an IRL dolly. So <laughs> we will say that you uh, pack that up. You will t- you tie it up as a little bundle, uh, yeah. uh, and uh, it about make you make it about as big as uh, Haynes can carry. Focusing uh, on the MREs, that kind of stuff, and then also as in we're all loading our pockets with like. Yeah. Yeah. Just just candy bars. How? Uh, whatever. I'll take these candy bars. That's yeah. They're weirdly. Those are the only things that are not Dharma branded. Yeah, what the, the hell is Apollo? Apollo? Have you guys bars? ever heard of yeah. Apollo? I've never heard of this no. brand. It's Apollo good. Bar? I just had one of those. No, but They're I've never great. heard of Dharma That's brand either. So mixing honest, cultural true. references very interestingly. Weird. Is it anyway. Uh, so, maybe uh, Dharma's the ones that are end of this line, according to that map in the caves. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, and, and you is. now report uh, that you saw off in the distance, if you stand on the top of the box, you can see the tip of a radio tower s- s- poking out of the trees. Yeah, let's, uh, that's got to be civilization, right? Let's head there. Yeah. Maybe it's what that map was talking about. Mm. Yeah. By the way, do you want to make a spot check on uh, the alcohol I pick up? Yeah, I'm gonna make this spot right, check. Make on a spot check on my alcohol. Okay, can I can I do that? Go for it. Yeah. yeah. What, what are you trying to do? You're trying uh, to. I see just, like, that blocking I... what everyone is taking. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't you roll science, calm, precise action? Okay. You're doing detective stuff. You're good yeah. at this. Uh, well, strictly speaking, everything oh, came to me. me. You, you. It's all with me. Yeah. Yeah. So true. True, true. it's unsurprising. I, I you can just see that happen. Yeah. So you want to roll didn't put under a bottle. number? You can roll yeah. two. I specifically did not put a bottle of liquor in the bag that I gave. I got a two and a two. Two and a two. Okay, so that's two questions for the island mm. uh, and two successes. So you absolutely yeah. Clock you see me grab some whiskey. Okay. Everything everyone's got. I just think it's interesting because we're like survivalist mode here, mm-hmm. right? So like, why do you have fun? Used for if we get wounds or something. Exactly. Right? True. Like, true. But I also now that which, y'all know what I am, like I don't really fucking care about your wounds. I don't know. So I'm I curious. Don't know. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah you, you absolutely clocked that. Okay, great. Um, so now what? See, uh, I want two, two questions for the island. Two right? questions for the island. Okay. Um, I want to know... Mm. Uh, let me think. Uh, fuck. Can I, can I ask more than a yes or no question? Is that true? Yeah, sure. Okay, so which one of these people do I need to be most worried about? Mm. Which one of these people do you need to be yes. most worried about? Is that a question the GM can answer? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or just the island. Just, like, give me a general big feeling. I, I would say, you know, it's, uh, I would say you have been around these people long enough to be getting some weird vibes off Haynes. It's, okay. you know, <laughs> this, is not, <laughs> this is not like, you know, the island telling you watch out for this person, but it, it is kind okay. of a, you know, you are, you, you, you get that this person is standoffish and a little, a little off. It's okay. like... Haynes is probably going to provide the most to the narrative of the show, which means Haynes will probably be killed by the smoke monster last. I'll be taken out first. Anything my, possible. My story no. gets wrapped up. I, so. I, I, I have to. Dis, I have to. Dis- <laughs> there, was some very, there were some very compelling narratives that were not tied up. That's true, because acting. Also, Solomon's such yeah. a good final girl. Don't drink and drive. So, Just don't I, drink I and think drive. I want it's my last enough. question to be more like a like. Like me consulting my gods kind of question, okay? Oh, okay. Like me being like, should I keep leading them north? Okay. Um, see, she's an other. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and she's on a, a secret mission from Ben others? Linus. Yeah. Um, and, and part of that secret mission is to bring y'all north. Um, oh. And did you draw that on the cave wall? She did not draw oh, on the cable. Okay. Damn it! Like, no, didn't you see? She did not draw on the cable. She did not draw on the cable. I was but um, uh, what we will say is, uh, uh, in, while everybody is sort of searching, while while he was looking mm-hmm. for the rocks and and stuff, you sort of backed off into the forest yeah. where uh, you 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 sort of went into some trees and behind some brush, and there you found a tall man standing there. Uh, who you recognize as your lifelong friend, uh, Ethan Rom. Um, Ethan. Yikes, make better life choices. <laughs> <laughs> about your lifelong friends. And, and, and Ethan is a great guy. You don't know how long lifelong is. Uh, and, and Ethan just sort of says, uh, Ben says, stay the course. Stay the course? Stay the course. Head north. Different things. And, and with that, Ethan just turns. Uh, that is Ethan. Uh, and with that, Ethan turns, and uh, he's... I'm headed back to my own position. Okay. And, and then he disappears into the jungle. I'm like, okay. And then you quietly rejoin the others unseen. Nobody knew there was anyone else there. Fun fact, the sector. But like, is... also kind of bitter, I think. Mm-hmm. The fact that they thought that like, they needed to like, send someone to me because like, 
fuck you. I'm loyal. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. you. Yeah, no, but wait, like, wait. that's, no, that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. No, 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 That may have just been Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he, he tends, tends to go off. He tends to... Uh, I'm just history. acting off what the island gave me. Fun fact, this is uh, in real life Tom Cruise's cousin, this <laughs> actor. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And Ethan was named after Ethan Hunt. Who Tom Cruise's character's name in the Mission Impossible series? Yeah. And JJ Abrams left That's Lost to go direct. And Ethan Rum is also an anagram for Other Man. Other Man. Oh. Just Ethan. So yeah, <laughs> Ethan disappears into the jungle, and uh, you are back, and uh, you saw the radio tower. We are all caught up to that moment. Right. And what are you doing? You're well, we have to head to the radio tower, obviously. Yeah. All right. That's and where we'll, we can call for people. And what yeah. I'm going to say That's is. You head off, and it is a very, very long way. In fact, you are hiking for a few days. All four uh, of us? Uh, all, five of us. All married. five of you. That was that was what nice. I was curious. I, I didn't hear about whether or not she mm. came back. Oh, yes. She she okay. came back. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, also, no, if we had just wandered. Also, we have to hear Michael Giacchino's score, the famous piece of music called Hollywood and Vine. Oh. <laughs> They're doing the walk through the jungle. And you are making your way north uh, towards where he saw the radio tower. <laughs> um, yeah, and you're walking for a few days. Oh, we yeah. put the lid back on the box before oh, we left. like what? to the side? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Because, you know, Animals. we might have to come back. We might have to come back yeah. and yeah. We left the, the stuff like detergent and the like impractical stuff. Yeah. So while what are your you guys, thoughts, Not anyway. if I can help it. So while you guys are doing this, is there anything you want to be doing on this trip? You're on a long-term hike, you know, you're walking for days and days. Anything anybody is yeah. trying to do, trying not to do? Yeah. I am getting my Outback experience. <laughs> okay. It is, I am loving it. This is fantastic. Like, there's uh, nowhere else I would rather be than where I am right now, except maybe, maybe a plane didn't crash to get me here. But, you know... Omelette eggs. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty happy. I'm just trying to soak it in, you know? Yeah. So, one night you're camped out. Uh, you, you've yeah. gotten pretty good at making camp now and sort of uh, hunting for the safe spots. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you are awake. I'm and awake. you are awake. All right. uh, and I will say that the two of you are not asleep, but you are sitting around the fire, not on watch duty. Um, and uh, Miri uh, is sitting with you. Yeah. Um, and uh, she. You know, just sort of gets up and she's like, gotta go use the little girl's room and uh, just sort of heads off into the jungle. Be um, safe. Look out for polar bears. Uh, so during this four day, uh, this this hike that we've had so far, mm-hmm. I've tried to keep conversation going. Sure. Just like, you know, be mm-hmm. like, let's learn more about each other. Oh, I'm an open book. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, and you're um, starting to learn about each other yeah. and form opinions about uh, each other. And- I, I watch Miri. As she like walks off as well, again border calling, okay. um, just making sure nothing crazy happens out there. Uh, okay. Um, can I have made an overtime like? Uh, can I just try to like s- start seeing whether I vibe at all, predator to predator? <laughs> okay, wait. So what do you want to see? Just like. Because I've noticed I keep an eye on who Miri talks to. Yeah. Oh. Because reasons. See. And I've noticed that um, Ralph is taking an interest. I want to see whether I can insight check some menace. Sure. Um, okay. one of like you... over days? Yeah, like, over days. Given sense. that everyone at I this table has decided of... that they're vibing on me, I want to see whether yeah. I vibe back on but, you. Yeah. But also, like, I've asked a lot of questions about... Where were you going? What were you doing? Tell me about you yourself. You want to roll for inconsistencies on me? Yeah. Do it. What is, what is that? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know what kind of roll it is, great, 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 but I can great. tell you that they are there. Can, I, can I do that? Uh, these, are you, both, these are both uh, science rolls. Yeah. We're trying to roll this spot. <laughs> yep. Stuff on the car. Uh, you uh, are, are very perceptive. You were set here to be a spy. You can roll two. You want to yes. roll under your number. You can also roll two. You are... Uh, an interesting person who probably keeps a close eye on people. It's um, late. I've been going to the yeah. Maker's Mark. Five and a three. <laughs> Five and a three, so those are uh, no fails. Fails and uh, two successes. Two successes. Um, so, you, yes, you you definitely starting to feel that maybe she asks a, little, a few too many questions mm-hmm. for her own good and volunteers for one too many watches and I don't yeah. know. It's not super suspicious, but it's it's just enough that you've 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 got your. You got your eye out. We sure are lucky there's an Alaska State Trooper with us. 
just, just happy I could, you know, offer my services in a place where I really didn't think I'd be needing them. That polar bear, still figuring out where it came from. Yeah, where in Alaska were you stationed? I was stationed in the North Slope boroughs. Uh, that's really where I just like found my home, cold, isolated places. Really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, not much for people, right? No, not really. But man, when I run into them, we have a lot of catching up to do. Sometimes you can go crazy up there. Uh, so it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, but mostly stationed in Fairbanks. Fairbanks and above, I would say. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Uh, yeah. yeah. That is where you see the polar bears. Yes, exactly. Arctic Circle, man. It's gorgeous. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights? I don't know where you're from. No, I haven't had the pleasure. Yeah. Such a shame. You should definitely and, and, check and it out. And while you're talking, you hear Miri scream out into the woods, and she screams for help. Hey, What's going on? on? Was that Miri? Yeah. yeah. I'm after, I'm going to Yeah, oh, yeah, so, 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 yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like up, I'm like, guys? Mary screamed, let's go. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, um, but I'm also trying to get us to go as a group. <laughs> yeah. I was zoning out of this cat and mouse game. I've been like, <laughs> I've been picking up, I'm like, okay, this is, it's fine. You guys want to have some kind of whatever. It doesn't really seem like the time for this kind of thing, but it's fine, whatever, you know, it's catastrophic funny. situations bring people together in all kinds of ways, and I'm just... Okay. Looking for something to do. Um, yeah. you, you pull off, we'll call that wild, passionate action for you. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's a faith roll. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to try and roll over your number. This is what you're trying to do. You can roll two. Uh, you are trying to get everyone to go as a group. I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to keep people together right now. Like, I don't like it when people are, I can't All right, see where my... that is also a faith roll. You want to roll over yeah. your number. You can roll, uh, let's say, two. Uh, why don't you go first? Peep, peep, peep. Three and a four. Yeah. Three and a four. Uh, yeah. So everybody is sort of. Right, you, so you then with both... that, I will go after Mary. Otherwise, I would not have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with that, the three of you are, say, you know, you, you essentially like we should stick together, and and, yes. and and you guys are pretty much down with that, and you you tear off into the jungle. Yeah. Uh, and you got. Uh... Oh, I haven't rolled. Oh, you rolled it. Okay. okay. Two and a one, and I'm trying to roll. One. Uh, it's faith. You want to roll over your number? Yeah, so you got oh. one success. Okay, oh. that's one success. Um, and it's we... an island question, right? Uh, yeah, and it is an island question. Okay. What's up? Where, what, what happened to Miri? What's up, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be running straight towards Miri? The um, scream? What, what, what? <laughs> Screams are good, right? People <laughs> scream when they're like, ah, oh, we're saved! <laughs> I just had the best I mean, of my life. <laughs> Depends on perspective about Fair. whether Miri's screams are good. Yeah. Um, Miri is definitely trying to get your attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Not, not necessarily because she really needs help. And what I will say is, you know, because you are, you know, since you've got here, uh, Solomon, oh you have felt like this sort of weird, just kind of <sighs> connection to what is around you. You don't, you can't quite put your finger on it. It is not something that... You know, you don't have superpowers, you don't feel strong, it's just, sure. you, you just feel a little in tune with your environment, and, mm. and ev everything sort of about the situation is, is, you know, the hairs are standing up on the back of your neck, everything about the situation is telling you, watch out. Mm. That's by the mm. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to then wait for the rest of the group to catch up. I'm like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, and then like, do this, like, let the group go past me and then hang back just a little bit so that they are in front. Sure. Are we on a path or are we on terrain? Uh, you're Is on the terrain. terrain real bad? No, it's it's flat and wide. Um, it's like there are trees, but they are widely spaced apart here. Uh, this is yeah. not jungle, it is more... Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. you know. I suppose I'll be able to follow then. Um, Good. Yes. Yes. I really can like definitely follow. Group. It's together. Mm -hmm. We are a team. Yeah, and you do so like people and keeping us all together. It's so important to me. Guys, what's going on? Why is everybody talking so quietly? <laughs> what's going on? No, I, that was... I, I don't even hear this because I've let you guys get about 10 or 15 feet ahead. Okay. Uh, where's Mary? What's happening? Well, I mean, yeah. you, you don't hear the screaming anymore. Um, Do we see Mary? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you for the sub. Uh, Thanks. Lost Isle. Lost Isle. Lost Isle. Lost Isle. Lost Isle. Thank you. Lost Isle. Lost Isle. Look out for that reroll. 
Um, so yeah, um, you uh, Hector, why don't you make a roll? Uh, make a science roll to look around and see what you can spot in the dark. Okay. You want to roll under your number? You can roll one. My number your three. number uh, mark is yeah three. <gasps> Ooh, I rolled a five. I'm gonna use a re-roll. Okay. Yeah, That's a re-roll. Get just it. throw that yeah. in. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bam. Can I use it again? Another re-roll? Yes, yeah. you absolutely yeah. can. Yeah. Keep. I <gasps> missed that. Oh, My dad always said, if at first you don't succeed, keep on sucking. Till you do That's succeed. That's true. Well, there's that still three quick re-rolls, and you guys can draw on those. One. Whoa. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and uh, you. Uh. uh heck. Uh. Sorry. Uh. Mark. Mark. Um, you. Mark you, Grayson. Yes. You. Mark Grayson. Uh, Grayson. Uh, whose name doesn't remind me of any last name. Doesn't remind me of anybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> me neither. Oh. Uh. Lo, Lo Sile sends their re-roll uh, to Sam. <laughs> Hey. Bounty of riches. I will um, use them in good health and definitely not murder. Um, yeah, so you, uh, yeah, you you do see something. Uh, you, you sort of look off into the path, and in, in the darkness, there's something moving. Uh, oh, it's and, dark now? It's nighttime? Shit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, um, what I'll say is that uh, while, right, we were keeping yes, watch. while you were keeping watch, yeah, you were yeah, keeping yeah, watch, okay. yeah, yeah. What, am I, what do I see? Um, there's just something moving in the darkness. It, it's sort of... Slow. It looks like it's very distant, but then all of a sudden it kind of like pulsates with light. And what it looks like is like sort of like this flashing black cloud, uh, and it, it sort of no. rolls towards you, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> it uh, it stretches sort of like smoke tendril whoa, whoa, out whoa, at your whoa, face. Whoa. And 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 while it is doing that, um, uh, one, <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you get you get this feeling. You sort of. You sort of feel your life flashing before your eyes a little bit, uh, and, and then uh, it, 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 it sort of circles the group, and, and it circles you, and, and the same thing, as the smoke cloud just like circles, or circles around your chair, there's these little flashes of light in it where you see faces you know and places you've been, and, and then it sort of disappears, and, and it, it does the same thing to you. It circles around you, and in there, it's like, for a minute, you think you hear harmonica music. Uh, and uh, you, uh, you you see the faces of uh, some others, yeah. and, and, and your and uh, my brother, your brother, um, other, <laughs> my uh, your brother, the other, yes, my brother, the um, other, and uh, God, this yeah. is what you are seeing essentially. Yeah. Um, and just that's it, for scale. It's big. It's, it's big. It's real big. It, 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 it does oh, wow, not so have a dolphin, a shark, like, and a yeah. table. <laughs> yeah. They need it at all times. That, that is fun. for scale how big it is. Um, and there. yeah, and 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 then it, it circles around you, Solomon, and for a second it, it, it reaches its smoky tendril out, but then it sort of stops for a second and it pulls back as almost if it's afraid. And then it just sort of turns and just zips back into the jungle and just disappears. Ooh. Okay. So. What the hell was that? I don't know. You ever what? see stuff like that in Alaska? Was that? Or no, you? I've never seen that in Alaska before. That's. It doesn't like you. What do you mean it doesn't like me? What do you mean? Do you it. Mean? There was like a. What do you, yeah, I mean, like, it was freaky. Like? Yes. Ah. Scary. But yeah. Right. You, what, what do you mean it doesn't like me? What, what do you. What the hell are you talking about? And as you're trying to Have take you seen this in, that before? I, I don't know sudden, what that was, but like yeah. I'm just looking at what we just saw there. Sorry, all no, of a sudden, right. go, 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 Yeah, go. as you're trying to take this in and as you're trying to make sense of what you just saw, it kind of starts to come back. You now hear a sound, though, with it, and it is that sound you heard that other night uh, when you were camped out in the cave. That oh, with the sort of weird machine and animal sounds, and all of a sudden it's coming to you, and it is charging uh, out of the jungle. Where's Mary? The we haven't found Mary? Yeah. You have not found Mary. I run in the opposite direction of it. Okay, uh, why don't you screaming. make a faith roll? Uh, you can roll one die. You want to roll over your number, which is a three. That's a three. That is a three. So Nailed it. An island question. What is everyone else doing? Oh god. Uh well fuck, kid, come back. No, 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 no. okay, so he's off. I, yeah, he's off. Wait, wait, what do you mean come back? Let's go, go. Let's go, go okay, go. okay, 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 okay. Let's, running, let's yes. Running, let's go. running, running. <laughs> what direction or are we in running? Rolling? Uh, I, I usually say yes, um, so I'm keeping um, I'm keeping at least one other person between me and this one. Thing <laughs> <laughs> running but away from the group. Announced cowardice, it's great. It's I, always it's my favorite role. Um, play so there. everybody make the same faith roll. You can roll one die because you are all scared shitless, so regardless of anything else, that's all you can do. It is faith. You want to roll over your number. I'm rolling it right at, um, I am running away from the group. You're running away from the group? Yep. Okay. No! Okay. Look. Great. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's you just great. have to outrun the it, other. It, per- it, like, gotta, go after the crowd of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Ha! Fuck. 
I actually rolled it. Haynes, yeah. I'm a that fake is character. Over. Wow, that is a success. I should uh, not have succeeded. You got uh, you got laser. Uh, you, you got a uh, ask the island question, so you succeeded. Uh, how yeah. did you do, uh, Mark? Yep. I got the ask the island question. You also got an ask the island question, yeah, and how did three. you do? Uh, I got. Um, I, got, um, I, got, um, I, got I, I succeeded. You succeeded. All right, so you all tear off. The terrain is a little tough, and you are scared out of your mind, and it's dark, so it's it's slow going, but you are all making it. Yeah. Um. What is your? Uh, no, I got a six. Oh, you got no, a six. I, I, oh, you got no, you were there. Okay, yeah. so yeah. what was your island question? My island question, and just a fun fact, when characters are running in the pilot episode of Lost, <laughs> the way that J.J. Abrams, who directed yeah. it, shot this, is he had the actors running yes. in place, and yes. then he just moved the and camera. And then he just moved the camera. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading And it this, ended yeah. up working. It looked pretty good. And then also in Star Trek, he had people standing on a mirror when they were being shot down from oh, the yep. ship, That'll and they were like, us. whoa, and it was just them standing on a mirror to the shot this guy. That one I do know, because it's not your, lost related. <laughs> answer your question is yes. Yes. The question is, uh, as an example here, what should I be on the lookout for? If I'm running, what should I be on the lookout for? All right. What you want to be on the lookout for is... So maybe shelter and safety. Wise, because I'm trying to run from the smoke monster. Yeah, so. shelter. Uh, a big tree to hide into, a cave, uh, a, a ring of smoke. What am I looking for? Just up ahead of you in the darkness, because you were the first one mm-hmm. to tear out of there. You think you see uh, the the dimly unlit, you know, just just by moonlight, uh, the shape of an old rickety looking no. cabin. Oh! 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 oh. oh. I think I see a structure. Go, go. I'm freaking out, so I'm gonna head straight for the cabin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The totally insignificant, not important cabin. Yeah, and you But I may uh, just just to you know, I'm making these big leaps. So if there happens to be, I don't know, some ash on the ground, I'm gonna <laughs> jump over I'm not gonna try to just like ruin no, what, what it. What I'm imagining is leaping. you only rolled a one, so you know, no, it's I rolled too a dark. three. Oh you rolled a three uh, Which was that island. No, question. one success. One success. That's one success. true, one yeah, success. Yeah. Thank so you. So you only rolled one success, so you're, you're not <laughs> running precise enough in the dark to do that kind of stuff. And I will just say that, you know, in the dark, uh, just I'm just gonna mention as a completely unrelated fact, there is a weird ring of ash around the cabin, yeah. but you don't see it and you just break right Fair through enough. it. Oh, Fair enough. God dang. Okay. Um and oh. uh, yeah, you go uh there is there's a short flight of steps and you go up the steps and uh, there's cabin. a door and you open the door yeah. and I will say you, uh, you, you, you sort of uh, uh, shuffle yourself inside and you and you follow him. Uh, you were both running away. You I'm were right on to this tail. cabin. Oh, okay. okay, right there. That's, right there. That's is what that it what looks it like, like visually. Yeah, that's, that is what it looked like. In it was daytime. a lot darker. Yeah, it looks goofy too. as hell in front of <laughs> actually. Um, and you, when you get there, it's like you see, it's like there is, uh, you know, two steps going up, but they are sort of like... Okay, so in my loop around, I didn't see any more of uh, Mary. Because I was running away from the group. I was not running nearby. Oh, right. Else. You didn't go yeah. with them. Right. I yeah, split no. the party. Okay, Hi. Right. You it's a dirty party, party split. I'm sorry. That? Okay, so you are not there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, no, you are just uh, off uh, in the jungle, and uh, you do not see Miri anywhere. Um, you... Mm. You, you run away and 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 and, and strangely uh, you 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 think you still hear those noises behind you you get the feeling that maybe whatever that thing was it's not following them now it, it it's looking for you um, and uh, it, it you, you hear those noises coming closer and closer uh, and you 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 pull yourself into uh, a, a sort of uh, spot between a bunch of bushes, mm-hmm. high bushes where you are sort of hidden from view. Mm-hmm. Um, mangroves, maybe, perhaps. Mangroves. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what they are now. Um, uh, yeah, you are totally out of view, and that cloud just sort of slowly crests behind you on the path over a little hill, uh, and it, it it sort of wraps around and. and, and and it looks and it seems not to see you, and then it disappears back into the woods, and you hear the sound getting softer and softer and softer until it disappears. Uh, and um, while you are sitting there, uh, you hear footsteps coming up. I'll stay hidden until I can see who it is. Um, you stay hidden, and the footsteps just come right towards you. Uh, it seems to almost seems to know where you are, in fact, and and, and the, the the brushes part, and, and you see, shockingly to you, uh, the face of uh, Nicholas Nicholas Wilcox Browning. Uh oh. Um, oh dear. Do you want to explain who Nicholas Wilcox Browning is? Well, we did see um, on Ellsworth, my old Ellsworth, ticket yeah. um, that uh, nice my first my first name is uh, mm. Ellsworth. Yeah, what's up? Mm-hmm. Um, 
but that on that old ticket, uh, that name was uh, Wilcox Browning. Yes. Not Haynes. Um, and then I took my wedding ring off. And I think that is what our audience needs to know to put those two together. Oh boy. Hello, hallucinated dead husband. And he just stares at you. I didn't miss you. Just stares, doesn't say anything. Oh, at last. That's paradise, isn't it? Not to hear your posh bullshit. And he kind of smiles at you. Hmm. And, and he goes... And he turns and starts to walk into the jungle. Good evening. <laughs> I will do the bad idea. You follow him? I'm going to follow my de hallucinated dead husband. All right. Um, you are following your hallucinated dead husband through the forest. Uh, he well, walks... hopefully murdered. I mean, if he weren't murdered, then... Yeah, he, he walks uh, 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 far enough ahead of you so that you can just sort of see him disappear behind a tree, and then you roll, and then you see oh, him disappear so behind a bush, yeah. and, and no. then you follow him no. after him. And, and while you are following no. him uh, around, um, uh, eventually he, he, he leads you uh, to uh, the mouth of a cave. Uh, and from inside the cave, uh, you can see uh, there's this, this cave, it's got water uh, coming out of it. The, the entrance is blocked by water. Um, and uh, he, 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 he points into the cave, uh, and, and then he sort of turns back to you and, and waves again, and then he turns and, and he runs off into the bushes. And, and just kind of vanishes. Literally, the first time I've ever seen that fool run. And and as he vanishes, uh, um, what I will say is, from the other side of the jungle to your other side, uh, Miri comes trotting out. She's like, "Did you see it? Did you what? see it? The thing? It was back. That thing. What thing? What are you talking about?" And she looks at you and she she suddenly folds her arms and then with her face and she kind of smiles again and she's like, ah, all right, well, I tried. And on that, uh, Miri suddenly disintegrates into no, black I, smoke. I knew it, I knew it. And sort of circles oh, around you uh, again and, and sort of picks you up hey, and, and just... The, the, the smoke monster with a giant tendril wraps around uh, your whole chair and just picks you up and throws you into the jungle. And you go flying super, super fast. And uh, as you hit, uh, a, a, as you, uh, hit uh, a tree um, uh, at, at high speed, uh, I want you to make a roll. Um, How much for... dead are you? <laughs> um, it depends on whether I hit or my chair hits. Mm -hmm. uh, my mm -hmm. chair is made of titanium and carbon fiber. The nice thing about titanium is that it has a large amount of vibration absorption as a metal, as metals go. So mm -hmm. we can see. It's like, it's like vibranium. It's not not, not vibranium. Way. Yeah. <laughs> Every game we play, yeah. you fact, almost die. Just, just to make you Because um, <laughs> I, I do the bad idea. I guess it's time yeah. to... Uh, roll roll for says, murder? Says, yeah, what I'm going to say is... Uh, um, throws, you, throws you not at a tree, throws you in the direction of the cave, uh, towards the water, okay? Oh, um, God. Like at the rock oh. instead of at the trees. Oh, um, amazing. And uh, what we will say is uh, you can roll... You are trying to put your chair between yourself and the surface at high speed. Mm -hmm. You can roll a uh, science roll. You want to roll under your number, but you can only roll one. Uh, because this is all happening at, at speed of light. Uh, you want to roll um, under your number? Those are the amount of rerolls. I want to roll under my number. Is that how many rerolls you have? <laughs> yes. Why? That's amazing. Okay. The audience likes Sam. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no shit. Sure. Yep. I like the audience, um, but that is I mean, a one. Like That's our ones, okay. because reasons. Uh, so, yeah. So, yes, so, I succeed. So that is a succeed, and you get that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you manage to like pull your chair yeah. between that, and you hit it, and, and as you fall into that water, uh, the water sort of starts to kind of undulate a little bit. And, and, and from you look into the cave and you see that the water goes down and it gets deeper as it goes. Uh, and and, and, and yeah, somewhere, yeah. <laughs> way sorry, back, in, in, it somewhere in the cave, there's this bright light shining out oh, from the water. No, uh, no. And, and, and the water, because you are in it, it, it starts churning. And, and as the water starts churning, uh, um, 
you, uh, um, Solomon, uh, your your nose starts bleeding. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh my God, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Solomon, you are standing in the cave and, and you have no idea why, but your nose just starts bleeding. Oh my God, do I? And and then your nose starts bleeding. Oh fuck and me. And then your nose. I'm starts in the cabin. Bleeding. Oh my God. You are all bleeding. in the cabin and oh. you are standing there and and it's and, and you. you what just as you thought you were safe, just as that monster was off of you, suddenly all three of you at the same time start developing nosebleeds. Oh, God. And, and so do you, uh, Allie, uh, sorry, Haynes, uh, lying there. Um, you you also, and you, you just think it's because of the crash. You don't really right. know because oh, you, you're not seeing that. But as that water starts undulating, as that blood starts slowly oh, trickling oh, from all of your noses, oh, there is this high-pitched sound, this... And suddenly, it's like the sky begins to light up a little bit, and it kind of turns like bright purple. And there is this amazingly like bright flash of like what is ultimately white light. And 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 suddenly, when 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 the light disappears, all of you are sitting uh, exactly where you are. But uh, for the three of you, you you look like you're vaguely in the same spot, but there is no cabin. You are now just standing on the ground. Uh, and and you, uh, you um, are uh, uh, right kind of where you were, sitting in a puddle of water, but uh, it is now for everybody daytime. Uh, instantaneously, the night has turned to day, and uh, you, the water is not waving anymore, the light is not in the cave anymore, uh, you are just sitting there. Um, what happened? What happened? Are our noses still bleeding? Did that go away, or are we still? Oh my God. The noses, yeah, you can wipe that off, and it, it seems to have stopped. Uh, oh. It was just like a little trickle of blood. Oh, and I was soaking wet, and I was just drying myself. Yeah. Sure, I didn't notice. Um, As I go out. <laughs> Being another, what I know about this? You have no idea. What's okay. Going uh, what well, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Oh no. Oh God. Uh, what happened? I, I don't know. Did what? I black out? What happened? What was that? Where is Haynes? Oh, God. I don't know. Where is Haynes? We lost him. Yeah, you we don't have see to Haynes stay anywhere. together. Um, okay. I'll go uh, out into the. Because we're just in the jungle in the daytime. I start cabin's yelling. Gone. The cabin's gone. Haynes! Uh, Haynes! Easy, easy. That thing might still be out there. Well, while you yell, it's like all of a sudden you do hear something coming. Uh, and it, it doesn't sound like that thing you heard before, though, this time. Uh, it, it, it sounds like music. Uh, in fact, you're, you're hearing, like, a radio playing. Uh, it's, it's, it's playing something, some kind of rock tune. It's, it's I don't know, maybe 1960s era. Uh, and uh, sort of uh, through the jungle, uh, you see uh, this VW bus. Is it playing The Road oh. to Shambhala? Well, is it playing The Road to Shambhala? It is not playing The Road to Shambhala, but it is something in that vein. Okay. Um, and, uh, okay. yeah, it's this, this bus comes uh, uh, t- uh, driving along, oh and, and sitting in the bus, uh, there is um, a tall, solid, good-looking fellow who looks over the four of you and, you know, he's like, uh... Do I know you? Do I know you? Y'all? No. You could. I step forward, uh-huh. big smile on my face. Hey, what's up? Nice fan. Um, where are we? Presently. You're by the main village. And uh, he gets out of the car and, and you see he's wearing a jumpsuit uh, identified. He's got a name tag that identifies him as LaFleur. Oh boy. You, okay. Are you an American? Oh, yeah, no, I'm stepping forward. Even more, like, um, at OOC, my character has a huge crush on this guy immediately. <laughs> like, no hesitation. And, um, the one thing that drops the cowardice <laughs> is yeah. the hotness. Yes. Yeah, I Hang, love that. Hanging on every yes. word. Make it gay. Yes. And, and he looks over at you and he's like, I mean, he's pretty. Uh, oh my god, Tinksy, thank you. Oh, oh my god. I oh, wow. that, thanks, Tinksy. That means we get the volcano. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, shit. we better pick this up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so he's Literally. like, Yeah, we're right near the main village. Uh, where? What were you looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we just, I think we got turned around. Um, we were coming from the beach. And then there was a, a cave, and then a yeah. cloud of black smoke. Cloud of black smoke, and like on that, it's like he, he looks yeah. at you and he's, where did you see that? Uh, I was, got right here. Oh well, yeah. And, and he looks like this. Hey, uh, some of us 
Pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. Literally not seen the chat. No, I'm just saying. Right I'm just saying. Like, pretty hot. It's, it's very understandable <laughs> that I'm <laughs> immediately <laughs> dropping my. Yeah, yeah, eleven out of ten <laughs> would lose out. He's got these glasses on right now. Oh, it's. Oh, does he have the broken glasses? He's wearing dorky broken glasses. It's charming. It's charming on a man. Oh yeah. Um and he's like. You saw that thing here? Yeah. And he looks around, uh, and he, you know, he, he, he pulls out a walkie-talkie out of his pocket, and he, he's like, you know, uh, he, he clicks on the button, he's like, Radzinski, you there? And then there's no answer, and he's just, uh, Is that Fisher Stevens? Yeah. Miles? <laughs> and, and you hear the voice on the other end, it's like, yes, Miles. And he's like, uh, send a patrol out by, uh, Pillar 17. Uh, we've had a sighting. And Miles is like, I'm on it, Chief. Wait, but you can you get us out of here? We were in a plane and we crashed. We were in Oceanic 815 and we crashed here. And and uh, yeah, a few days ago. Few, yeah, yeah we few days. We've been trekking through the jungle and we were chased by some creature or something. Can you help us? I'm sorry, you said you were in a village here. Oceanic 815. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Were you? What? And he's like, is this a zoo? We've been debating. Yeah. Oh, I think we need to talk. Oh boy. And he he looks like he's about to say something when suddenly you hear this high pitched sound and this and the sky turns white again. Oh my I, I throw my arms oh. around him <laughs> and, and you throw your arms around him, yeah, and uh, you know, and he's just kinda you know and uh, but yeah, no, you can't take him with you, unfortunately. Oh. And uh, yeah, there is a white say. flash of light and suddenly you're you're all together again. Haynes, is it nighttime or daytime? Uh, it is daytime. Haynes, are you okay? Nope. Uh, what happened? I was looking for Miri. I couldn't find her, and is she then okay? is Can... Cabin back? No. Uh, in fact, what I'll say is that uh, the four of you are reunited, uh, and you are slightly back uh, closer to the path. Uh, this okay. time, uh, when the when the light flashed, your location okay. changed as well. Right. Uh, Thus, we were brought together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ralph, why do you keep whispering "butt" under your breath? I just. Hey, just, thank you for the show, Miriam. Hey, thanks. Oh, I uh. It's, I don't know what that was. Why? Why aren't you whispering "butt" under on, your breath? What's going on, guys? Um, we should just keep going north. We get to that radio tower, see what's up. And 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 uh uh uh, uh yeah you. You, you go and you try to look off in the distance of the radio tower, and while you're searching, we get this whoosh sound. Okay. Lay it in! All right. Flashback. Bring us home. Okay, sitting at a kitchen table, looking down, <laughs> looking down at my knuckles. Brass knuckles. And I'm listening to my father, and he's saying, this is ridiculous. You have to stop. You're not a bouncer. <laughs> What you're doing is not okay. And then my other dad comes in. And he says, your father's right. There's no such thing as an aspiring freelance bouncer. <laughs> you're bothering people at bars and you have to stop. <sighs> and then my third father comes in, because here's the deal. My parents were married, and then they got divorced, <laughs> and then my mom got remarried. So that's two dads. Yeah. And then my first dad, is by and he also got remarried. So I have three fathers, oh. none of whom believe in my dream of being a bouncer. None of whom, all three of them are telling me, you can't just go into the outback that doesn't have anything to do with bouncing. You're really, really stretching this idea you had to try to make it work with your character and it doesn't really land. <laughs> And there's only like 20 minutes left, so you're not gonna be able to, look, you can't be a bouncer because people can't count on you. All three of my fathers say this in unison. And then, that's the end, it stops back. And then, you back exactly where you were and you look off in the direction where that radio tower was and there's not a radio tower there now. In fact, vaguely in the vicinity just past where that radio tower was, what you see is this gigantic weird statue just sort of growing, looks like, at the edge of the jungle. It's some sort of weird, tall, crocodile, hippopotamus creature. It's got vaguely Egyptian style to it. It is extremely tall. 
Um, and you see that, and you are uh, turning to relay that uh, to your friends when suddenly there is another piercing noise, and your nose starts bleeding again, and a bright white light. And there is a flash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, what is happening? We're going to be all I, right. And I, I, I don't even, like, is the Lord testing me right now? <laughs> And, and, and this time it's night, and uh, you you find yourself uh, um, uh, sitting now on a beach, uh, and uh, that statue that you had been looking at before, you don't see it anymore, um, but what you do see is there's this kind of giant foot. Nice. A huge foot statue yeah. on the beach. Um, and uh, you, you notice, you can tell from the perspective that you were at that strangely the it only has four toes, um, and oh uh, I'm less into it than I was. <laughs> and and uh, toes standing out, uh, um, and, and, and then right, and, and, and there's a little door in the side of the of, of this foot statue, and uh, out out of the door, a, a a a man wearing a white tunic comes out, blonde hair. Caucasian kind of, uh, Gosh, kind of mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, Hector's working his way to get your pictures. He's doing he such a good job. Supernatural? Um, <laughs> cultural also, vacuum. He is also on Supernatural. Um, he, lo- he looks uh, like this. <laughs> good call, good call. He has a kind of semi handsomeness. Yes, um, he's like, oh, yeah, really he's not watching. There's nothing semi <laughs> handsome about him. He's yeah. full handsome. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and he looks over uh, at You're just monkeying around, of course. Yeah, and, and, and he looks all of you over, and, 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 and he sort of. He, he nods at you and, and, and sort of checks you out, sort of sizing you up, and, and then he looks over at you, Solomon, and he says, well, let's see if you can protect them. And when he says that, there is another high-pitched piercing sound and a bright flash of light, and suddenly... Oh, my nose is bleeding so much. Yeah, you, the nose bleeds yeah. are coming. It's starting to hurt all I of take you. Up, I take off my bandana. And I'm not, I'm not going to do this IRL, but I tear it into four pieces, and I say, put stuff this in your nose. Yep, oh, okay, and everyone's got uh, and nose, these stuff out. them if you want them. Yeah. Um, and, oh. and with that, there's another bright flash of light, and now you find yourself in the middle of a grassy field, and there is just to the side of you this weirdly suburban-looking village, which oh you recognize God. as where you grow up, the other's village. Yeah. Uh, only... Things are chaos right now yeah. because through the air are gas canisters shooting oh. down. Everybody down! There oh are, my you hear god! The sound of guns, gunfire. Yeah. You just hear it, it's people screaming. Yeah. There are people running around. There is a massacre going on in front of you. Um, you are seeing these are the uh, barracks. I get down. Everybody down. Yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, down. Yeah. Drop. Drop. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, we need to get away from this village. We there's this is. We will die if we stay here. We need to go. And I'm I'm like grabbing them and like pulling them to the minute I get yeah. grabbed, that is not okay. I, I yeah. don't care. We're we're moving. We're moving And we are de-grappled and I will move. Okay, yeah, great, you, great. Yeah. Um I am I am like breathing heavy. I'm like, oh my god. Um yes. because I recognize this as the purge. Yeah, you know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I like I reckon I'm like, you oh my god. That? Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, actually... And says, there we roll to Sam. Thank you. Uh, by the way, re-rolls we give to these uh, characters uh, will will be good uh, uh, next week. Yes, if they don't be actually, nice. like, if uh, like this, if, if anyone questions me in this moment... Like, what is this? What's going on? Yeah, like, like I, I know this. I know this. We just need to stay away from it. Let's just get to safety, and then let's just get to safety. And I'm, like, glaring at you. And, and what? You, you hear a voice that, you know... Says, what is so special about you? Mm. What the hell are you talking about? And, and, and Am you hear I not a voice with a heavy Russian accent that says, There is no safety. And you turn around, <gasps> and behind you, with two eyes... Two eyes! Mikhail. Uh, Mikhail. Mikhail Bakunin, um, who you saw the picture yep, of yep, earlier. Yep, yep, yep. Stands and he, there, yeah. he is with a little death squad. Uh, he has got a couple of others. They are all armed. They are wearing gas masks. What the hell is going on? Uh, oh god. Oh god. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like step up to him, and be like, Mikhail, it's me. I do Lower not, your weapons. I do not oh. know you. <sighs> <laughs> Exterminate the pests. I and, and charge, that, men start no. his, I charge and I try to tackle him right in the gut. 
Okay, yeah. 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 That is shoulder, a faith roll. Shoulder to the gut, yeah. Uh, Everything I have. Roll, you want, uh, okay, you're, you're going to try and tackle him. Do you, you, roll, you also want to do something? Is that what you were going to say? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just got a piece of cloth. I have a bottle of whiskey. I have a fire steel. Oh, shit. We are in grass. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't, we, why don't we do this in, in, in concert? First, yep. make a science roll. You can roll two die to make your Molotov cocktail. You want to roll under your number. And uh, I am expert as five. fuck. Oh, then, then you can roll three. <laughs> Did you say he, he still has two eyes? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, huh, yeah, uh, with two islands. Uh, yes. Uh, so do you have any questions? Um, Quickly. How best can I just burn all them down? Um, I would say a Molotov cocktail delivered to uh, to the ground very close to them would probably explode in a way that would spray fire on them. Fantastic and eminently satisfying. Okay, uh, and why don't you roll to see how your charge goes? Uh, right. You're rolling. Uh, this is yeah. what you do. Uh, yeah. you, you start fights. Yeah. So roll three. Uh, you want to roll over your number. Oh. All right, I got three, six, and five. Uh, so that so is yeah, three successes yeah, across the board. Yeah. Um, uh, what are you two doing? Um, I I want to attack specifically Mikhail. Like the other people are like my friends. That, but, that like, is who I want to. Attack. That was yeah. who you were attacking. Okay, okay, yeah. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna like see if I can. Okay, no. If you're attacking him, I'm gonna get someone's gas mask because okay. I know what's going down and I, like Whoa. I want safety. Good. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So why don't you roll? Uh, that is also calm, precise action. You were trying to um, yeah. lift something off somebody in the heat yeah. of the moment. So. Roll two. You want to roll under your number. Uh, Great. Your um, number is a two. You. Okay, I want to re-roll that. Yeah, there go for go. it. Now you can re-roll one of your die. Okay. Uh, Six. Oh well. Uh, yeah. There are also we the three table three re-rolls. rolls on the table. Can oh, I? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, motherfucker, let's go. Three. Uh, one more. <laughs> I'm just gonna try one more. I'm not gonna take the last yeah, one. Yeah, no, you have. Yeah. Four. No, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Do it, sunk cost. Just do it, sunk cost, sunk cost. Look at this cost. And, and I don't even know what that means. Five, yeah. I'm rolling to oh, Run down oh, all of your re-rolls, kiddos. All right, so what are you doing? Nothing, man, I got my hands up. You got your hands up, right. So you're not doing anything. I'm punching him in the throat so he can't give orders. Okay, so you, 100%, what happens is, you, uh, while while, while yeah. Bakunin is talking and coming to his men, are and they are doing the thing. Cocktail, yep. uh, she is sort of trying to inch towards them to to, to try and grab one of the uh, the gas masks off one of their belts, uh, and and he is sort of just sort of uh, slowly inching towards Bakunin, and suddenly you throw your Molotov cocktail yep. and it explodes yep. with flame, which he just jumps right through, hitting Mikal like right in the throat and knocking him down. Yeah. Uh, and you lunge for one of the yeah. gas masks on one of the others, mm-hmm. and uh, you totally miss, yes. and you fall to the ground. Uh, I see oh, what dear. Ralph was doing. Now I know what I want to do. I see what Ralph was doing, and I am inspired in the same way that I disobeyed my own father. I'm going to try to run and grab that gas Into mask. Into the fire? Yeah, jump She's over. She's on fire! I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Yeah. I connected with Ralph. I don't know what's right. going on yet. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm going to yeah. do. You, Run into yeah. the fire. Go do it. Run in the fire and try and grab a, a gas, gas mask, mask to, oh, no. to give to, to, give to Ralph. Ralph. Be like, what? Do I, do I need to grab one? That kind of thing. Oh, okay. oh honey. Oh, uh, honey. We'll, we'll, call call this, we'll call this wild, passionate action. Good. You're doing I this love in the heat of the moment. You want to roll go, over go. your number? Go for okay, it. Okay, here go. Over three. Better survive, kid. Uh, three, exactly. Fuck three. yeah. Okay, uh, you do get a question if you have mm-hmm. one real, real quick. What the what's, fuck? What's going on with Ralph <laughs> Island? Can I trust Ralph? Uh, the... What what the island would say uh, right now is you, you you get a feeling that like while in general you probably couldn't trust Ralph uh, mm-hmm. at this particular moment when Ralph was screaming about I can. one of those gas yes. masks you really believe that <laughs> you, you, you okay. read yeah. that okay. fear yeah. and it yeah. was real I believe it that's what I'm trying to get a gas I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna get a gas mask um yeah. and 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 you, uh, you okay so you uh, I'm sorry what did you got you got a success there I uh, got a success one success on the island yeah so don't you, tell me kid. right. Uh, start inching towards one of those guys, um, and you are fighting Bakunin, and you are just punching him and punching him, and you look up and you look over to your left, and, 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 and laying on the ground in this, in this ring of fire is, is her, and uh, the fire sort of burning in the grass around her, it is creating this sort of flaming outline around her. And, oh! 
And you were saying to yourself, you're, you know, you were like, I've, I've seen this, I've seen this, nice. and, 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 and weirdly, instead of distracting you, it just, it, it makes you feel like a little more alive, and you start tearing into Mikhail even harder. Yeah, I, um, so I've, I've got him in the throat. I've hit him a couple of times. He seems like he's pretty. Oh yeah, he's not enjoying this. Okay. <laughs> I actually am gonna abandon this and try to pull his mask off and then head towards the group. Okay. Um, why don't we call that a science roll? Uh, you're trying to remove his mask. Uh, yeah, well, it's sort of like... Well, he's already knocked out. You know what? Uh, you, you, you beat the shit out of him with those three successes. Yeah. So you can just take it off. Brass yeah. Noise. I'm going to try to pull you out of the fire. Oh, thank thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to protect you. Okay. And, yeah, and, and that's, I had that's, this dream. Really... I, my worry is that you're going to die. Yeah. I don't do this. You that's have got a gas problem. mask. Uh, you, you successfully swiped it off and you give it to him, but you are now also sitting in the middle of the burning Oh no, grass. fire! What do we do? Um, oh god, I... Are... Put that on. Put it on, just put it on. Just, just put it on. Come on, get... Don't make me tell you twice. Get through the fire before it surrounds you. You, have to, make, you have to make a leap of faith. <laughs> we have to go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, we have to go back. We have to go back to where we were. <laughs> Um, <laughs> damn it! So, <laughs> damn it, Ralph, run! But I'm running! I'm running! I'm wrecking yeah. this. All right. Uh, Ralph. Yes? You try and get up and run. The yeah. grass is burning. The oh, fire God. that they oh spread, God. They, they set I'm gonna is spreading. Die. Uh, you okay, this is my home. have absolutely just kicked the crap out of Batoon, and he is down. His men have withdrawn. Uh, the four of you are left alone. You are in the burning grass. You are in the burning grass. You are standing <laughs> just by the edge of it, and you are... Uh, sort of sneaking a, away. Sneaking away, but the it's gra- tall grass. <laughs> and now I'm <laughs> real small when I do that lean down stealth thing. Yeah, and, and you are sneaking away. Um, and, and what I will say is that uh, as you are sneaking away, um, murderer, do me some death. Do me yes, some death. Um, you run into another squad of others who are armed with gas and separated from your friends. You are quickly surrounded, and uh, they just pelt you with that toxic gas. And you start breathing it in. How long st- can I hold? Are they standing there until I stop holding my breath? Oh, yeah. They are just they standing there watching you as it's you are starting to suffocate. It's, I don't uh, know what that means. And uh, the two of you, it's like that fire is burning on your skin uh, yeah. as you are trying to get out of there. Yeah. It's starting to choke. You are Screaming. starting to fall. No! And, so, <laughs> and, and you are, are yelling no. for them, come on this way, and you're, you're starting to lose your way out of the grass. It is getting smoky in the air. Area. And uh, everything is looking bad for everybody uh, when there is another high pitch and a flash of white light, and suddenly you are back on. You are on the island. Only the purge is gone. The mask village no is mask. gone. You're still wearing your mask. Okay. Um, you are all in the exact same place. Uh, only everything feels different. You look up in the air. There is a pterodactyl. <laughs> circling in the air and as you are standing there there is a rumble and then another rumble and, and, oh, and the no. island starts yeah, to oh earthquake and, 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 and as, as the earthquake throws all of you off your feet out of your chair uh, it, you know still gasping for breath still hurting from your burns the earth, the volcano on the island just absolutely explodes. We're gonna die like on the island before side. mother, before anybody, before anybody. I give, I give, Haynes, I give Haynes my gas mask. Well, that is a noble effort of you, but unfortunately, it is too little, too late. And as the sad Michael Giacchino life and death theme. Dun, 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 I'm gonna do my friends a favor and uh, carbon fiber stab as many of them as I can before they get swallowed no. up in lava. No. 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 Go for it. No. Go for it. No, I want to retaliate because I want to die on this island like. All right. Just so. Going. All right, Ben. No. But not wild, by passionate you. action. You are just Jacob trying to, to go at people like right in their face. Right? I don't know what's so. happening, so I'm gonna get stabbed. I'm yeah. Like, huh? Hi. Hi, friend. Uh, yeah. Why? Okay. No. I was trying to put the mask on. <laughs> yeah. So then, you were the yeah. first one to go. You just get stabbed because you get stabbed. Uh, yes. So uh, it's down to us. No. Uh, no. 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 We're down. Oh, no. Well, so, so this yeah, is what's gonna happen. You want the yeah. island to take you. Yeah. I want the island. I know you want. Guess what you want. I'm gonna go right into that lava. You can't outrun. If this is a real volcanic eruption, there's no way you can run 
the pyroclastic flow. Yeah, that's actually flow. You it's can't true. Outrun it's it. entirely yeah. true. Yeah. And exsanguination is so much better. Whatever right. Jurassic Doesn't Park matter, trailers I say. Oh, no, I, I'm not. Despite that. So, that's uh, good, yeah, good, good, absolutely. Good. I the, was you, oh, it's very kind. Yeah. You stab him uh, right in his side as he comes yeah. in to put you. Right. Uh, it, it's 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 in the metal. It's where they got Jesus with the spear. It's very metal. <laughs> There's a lot of metal. Oh, it's yeah, a little bit more where they got uh, Jack. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, double oh, metaphor. That's good. And uh, I think it uh, might have been the same metaphor. Yeah, and and and, and that yes, and that put you 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 put your hand on your side and you and you just sort of sit down. Uh, and, and, and and you you can you you, feel, you know you're losing a lot of blood and uh, you you sort of feel your strength draining and uh, and and you just think about how you charged in there and kicked the crap out of Bakun and how you know all in that one moment sort of the protector that you always wanted to be you 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 got to do it you did it once it's like you know you you got you got to save them from that guy at that moment. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, it immediately was stabbed. Yeah, hey, you know that is the it's thing. It's better than burning. That's, they whisper. That's, right. <laughs> that is the thing. It's like you have emotional baggage. You all came here with emotional baggage, yeah. and uh, putting down your emotional baggage can be a lifelong process. And for all of you, that process is over. <laughs> that lifelong. I say. I say. Yeah. I say the one phrase that I know in Latin, which is "consumatum est," which means oh. it, it is means it is finished. Is the last words mm-hmm. that Jesus said on the cross. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. And, and and with that, uh, you watch yeah. him die. You also take the, the stab and yeah, feel it and don't know what's going on. And, and and you think to yourself, you have kind of a sad thought in, in your last moments. Uh, oh, thank you for the uh, bit. Um, and you have kind of a sad thought in your last moments that if 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 you came away from your father to see if you can survive on your own, it's like. I couldn't. Didn't, it didn't mm-hmm. really work That's out so for sad. you. Yeah. Oh God. Um, I'm such and, a sad story. And you dive into the lava. Uh, yeah. And, you know, knowing that you went the distance for Ben, mm-hmm. you tried to fulfill your mission. Yeah. Uh, the island work. did not want you to. And I yeah. just see the lava coming, lit by the sword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I burn to death. And <laughs> you, oh, you get to burn to death? Well, and well, as also you're not and, gonna just, I don't have time. And oh. as you are all burning to death, there is one last high pitch noise and one last flash of light, and suddenly, you are all on Flight 8115. Uh, flight 815. Me too. You too. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Strangely, you are all there, and you look around the flight, and, and you don't exactly recognize each other, but when you see each other's faces, because you were all sort of bundled in the same row, there's there's like a weird kind of deja vu and a kind of a familiarity, and, 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 and for a second, the plane jostles, but Everything's okay, and, and and the plane continues on. This is my first time on a plane. <laughs> yeah, no, but but you don't feel that way. You okay. you feel okay. like you were on your way to Los Angeles on Flight 815. There was okay. something you needed to do there. Like there was, you, yeah, there was a mission you, you needed to fulfill that was going to end okay. in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and and that plane lands in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and uh, and the four of you, uh, you go back to something very much like your lives, as as if this whole thing sort of just never happened, uh, and 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 and. In, in this play, this Los Angeles, you find yourself living some events that feel reminiscent of things that you but had different. thought about, but yeah. a little different. Yeah, it's like like you, like like as if in the last moment of your life, you're sort of laying down to tell yourself the story of your life, but compacted really quickly. Yeah, and uh, and and some of you sort of feel when you tell yourself that story that you got to the end of it and there was a victory, and and some of you feel like you didn't, and you still got that baggage, yeah. and. It, and how do you feel? Uh, I go and buy a harmonica. And you go uh, and buy a harmonica. Uh, yeah. And 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 you in an afterlife, and, and you in this in, in this in this version of Los Angeles find yourself uh, um, as as uh, strangely, um, you you are roommates to uh, with with Mary Cook. Um, you are good friends, uh, and uh, you have this strange guilty feeling about her that you cannot quite shake. Uh, you know <laughs> you owe her an apology for something. Do I, have a, I have a guilty feeling for the first time in my life? For the first time, you have a guilty feeling. Maybe mm-hmm. not for the first time in your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and, and, and in this place, uh, in lost tradition, you confront your issues or you don't, and, yeah. and, and then uh, as, as you take your final breath and your eyes close, 
We move on. We'll meet at a church. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll meet at a church. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Yeah. Uh, eventually you will work out I'm your stuff church. and you will move on. <laughs> And uh, and that unfortunately brings us to the end of Lost. Um, thank you so <laughs> much. I was a and I was a crossing guard. You were, yeah. you were a crossing guard <laughs> yeah, for, for like a, nice. like a kid's preschool. You were a yeah, crossing yeah. guard. Perfect. You were roommates with Mary. Yep. Uh, you I, learned to play the harmonica. Yeah, I learned to play the harmonica. You, I was a crowd like warm up guy at like a show that they film in L.A. Like I'll go and like warm up the crowd for yeah. like now you're gonna see Conan or whatever dumb thing. Yeah, you're, you're still just yeah. yeah. You're so still after Conan. that dream. You just dumb could not man. let go of that dream even here. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and in time you will. Don't worry. And you're all fun. <laughs> and, and thank you so much, um, everybody. This this was kind of uh, thank you so much for playing. Uh, you guys were incredible. Um, you were this fantastic. Was, oh, you summed you. up six seasons of a show pretty much. Yeah, you yeah. did. You did a great yeah. job yeah. of being yeah. like spoiler, spoiler, you spoiler. You put a bow on this. I didn't feel yeah. like I just didn't understand. Well, yeah. I totally didn't understand anything. But like, authentically. Yes, but you, <laughs> but you did you great ever, anyway. Sam, if you ever watch the show, there will be moments, maybe like twice a season, where you'll yeah. go, I'm That's just it. gonna text him That's every it. time yeah, like, when oh, I we're, we're, watch, watch we're watching that together. This, oh, okay. yeah. this, this is, like, watching this is like Broadway adaptation. Oh, yeah. Like just like like that yep. kind of like moments come in, moments come in. Like, oh, <laughs> Damon Carlton, if you need someone to write the Broadway adaptation, just DM us. Um, yes, uh, us. We will we will yeah. take yeah. it as a group. Four. Um, <laughs> yeah. Six, two, three, so two, four, thank you so much. Eight, this was a bit of a dream for me to do. Um, <laughs> it, it went yes. just amazingly. I, I cannot. Uh, to say yeah. how yeah. grateful I am. It was great. You um, were fantastic. Just yeah. thank you. Uh, yeah. And uh, thank you, everybody who tuned in and oh everyone who gosh. watched and everyone Thanks. who donated. Uh, uh, all of you, just incredibly generous. You have been all season. Thank you so much. <laughs> Real quick, let's go around the table. Let the pe- good people know where they can find you, say, on Twitter. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Skull Mandible. Cohen is a ghost is, is the thing. Skull Mandible. At Skull Mandible. Cohen is a ghost now, yes. uh, thanks to the ending of our game. Yes. And thank um, you to the generous person who donated for my re-roll. Yes, yes. Um, uh, Cohen actually saved his re-roll. That will go in the pot. Uh, he did not get to use it, but the players next week will get to use it. Mm-hmm. Um, and awesome. uh, yeah. anybody else who had a re-roll? Uh, nobody used their story points. No, I just like yeah. burned through those bad boys. I, I did pretty pretty well. Yeah. You know, in my murderation. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that's, I, that's cool. I, I, forgot to, I forgot to bring up my... Uh, my past stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, and then it was, well, the thing with Lost is you have, you know, you have daddy issues, so I thought, what do you do? Yeah. Is, how yeah. do you magnify Also, I certainly couldn't make it useful <laughs> like no the doctor way. that I wasn't. Right, and it's, you know, in Lost, it's like, there are bits, there are pieces, you get what you yeah. need to know, you get what's yeah. important to the characters and the story, and the rest you kind of just have to fill in and figure out mm-hmm. for yourself. Yeah. So what you'll have to... At Skull Mandible on Twitter. Uh, You'll have to figure out about me. I am usually not garbage, but you can find the garbage on Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V-S-K-Y. Catch me next week. I'll be back. I might be less evil. Maybe. Possibly. That was so much better than mine. I oh know. Yes. <laughs> you got to follow that up. Uh, uh, let the good people know where they can find you. You can find me on the internet at Hector is Funny. Which is true. Sometimes, occasionally. At Hector Always. is Funny. And um, that's it. Yeah. And, and and watch Shield of Tomorrow. Yes. Uh, where my, yeah. my, my two friends here oh, uh, uh, boldly ex- only go where no one has gone before every week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Ravity, let the good. People yeah. Know where they can find I don't you on really Twitter. tweet, but I'm trying to get more into it. Uh, Follow uh, Rave so, on Twitter. Yeah. She's amazing. Do it. Yay. So the underscore Ravity at. The Twitter.com? I don't know how that yeah. works. Yeah, there you go. Um, there you go. You will see us screaming about squadron goals. Together. Yes, actually, so Sam and I are in a campaign together for Star Wars, and so yes. you'll see us yelling at each other a lot. Yeah, keep up on their Star it. Wars campaign. Follow Ray, yeah. follow Sam. Follow Ray. Let them know what you think. Um, and you can find me on Twitter uh, at Arba913. Um, I'm Rick Budd. Uh, and if you want to follow the show, uh, it's at Tempting Fate RPG. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, Sam will be here and Gina will be here. Max, Gina. all of our regulars are back. Uh, and we will have special guest uh, Amanda Powers. Uh, oh, from wait, Mast, Amanda. Um, who will be joining oh, us great. for uh, the first week of our three week. Okay. Why are all uh, my friends here? Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Uh, just for the first week of our three week uh, Ghostbusters campaign. Yeah. Um, we're doing three weeks of Ghostbusters and that first That's week so cool. uh, we got Amanda. Um, and uh, tune in tomorrow night, Saving Throw. They're doing part three, I think, of. Of Legacy. Uh, it's tomorrow night at 8 p.m. It's a really cool uh, new campaign. I think I think it only goes up to four, so get on board now. Um, and uh, no, oh, it's longer than that. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, my it bad. It goes up to 11. I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, it goes up to 11. Okay, sorry. No, I'm thinking I'm, of a I'm different. I don't know. I don't uh, want to be oh, it, uh, that was a spinal tap. Wow. You know, you can never. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. So I'm sorry. Legacy is really cool. Check it, it out. Like um, <laughs> once again, uh, thank you so much for joining us, uh, and uh, thank you for tempting fate with us. See you next week. Yay.
Oh, that's why it's called 